Asien! Hello world, it's your boy Tasty Steve and his bro Mark man. You know why we're here, I'ma try to keep it low because you know what time it is. The top eight for the final Tekken 7 Tekken World Tour is about to commence. Yo, Louisiana, New Orleans, if you're with me, make some noise! It is finally here, Steve. The final, the last. A collection of global challengers from all over the world. And I got to give a lot of thanks to the Tekken fans throughout the many, yes. many years it took us to get here. But this is the last one. The final rodeo. Are you ready, Steve? Man, look, I don't think after what happened in the group play yesterday, I don't know if I'm ready. I really and truly don't. I mean, it was some of the most amazing matches ever. A lot of people don't understand, and I'm sure a lot of you, this is the closing of an epic chapter of Tekken 7 and when I tell you there has not been something this exciting happening in the Tekken world and forever it's because of the people out there watching the players you're about to watch and everybody else that has showed love so I want you guys to make some noise for yourselves because I appreciate you guys supporting Tekken 7 making it what it is and it has been such a pleasure to talk about these matches and oh, we're yeah. going to do it one more time to make sure Tekken 7 know that it did exactly that for the entire world and it's changed that let's go back and talk about some of the events that has led us to this point of course we're going to start with evo japan oh yeah evo japan happened that we had the mix-up joka ended up taking that surging master ended up taking punishment then we went over to combo breaker with arson ash and then battle arena melbourne shout out to the boys in australia mm -hmm. and need ended up taking that tournament of course jun ding making a comeback to ceo ended up winning that tournament that we had fighter showdown with cbm able to take that then we went to the master plus event and arson ash winning another evo token then jun ding winning versus fighting Versus fighting, then we went over to Rev Major, mm -hmm. and Ulsan ended up taking that, and then Atif, the champion from last year, who did not make it into our top eight, ended up winning Tiger Uppercut. But that was just the master events. There is a whole lot more. Steve, talk to us about the challengers. So, of course, we know those challengers were definitely hot and heavy with the action because there were so many players that were actually trying to get in, and like on those last second instances to try to get enough points to actually survive here in the challenge brackets. Well, and with these challenges. Of course, you got the Italian Stallion, Daniel Motto, winning Paradise Game Battle. And then, of course, we had Emirates Showdown. Kakoma took that one. HK Jr. holding it down. One of my favorite players Phase that came up. out of Tekken 7. Phase up, of course. And then, of course, FB Major. Osan returning to the Tekken 7 action and already becoming a problem. And this was challenge. My boy Rafe actually taking that one. And then Shadow 20Z, my little bro, taking it out in Summer Jam. Daniel Motto again, and only the best. That lets you know he was on quite the ride. He was collecting the bro, stones. My man was going everywhere. And then, of course, Cherry Berry Mango for Cape Town Showdown. I can't believe this dude actually went there before me. And then Clash of the Olympians, Joey Fury takes that one. Arsalan Ash for Uprising in Seoul, Korea. And then, of course, San Juan, Puerto Rico. One of my favorite champs to come out of this, Tibby Tano. So got to give it up to all those players, but of course to all the tournament organizers and the communities that put on these Masters and Challenger events, and of course the Dojo events. But let's look at the groups from yesterday, oh Steve. Let's look God. at the groups. And look at the qualified players, and look who came out of each one. Let's start with Group A. Talk to us about Group A, Steve. So Group A consisted of Olsan, Rangchu, Joey Fury, Joka, as well as Super Akuma. Who made it out, bro? The only people that made it out, Olsan and Rangchu. Two Koreans making it out of Group A, and then we go over to Group B. Arslan, Al, Rafe, Anakin, Kakoma. That was a tough one. That they... was a crazy, crazy group. But Arslan going to be the person who makes it out and holding up to that favorite of one of the people to actually take this entire tournament. And then, of course, Al right there behind him. And not only that, it's Arslan's first time making it out of yep. pools in the TWT final. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see as we play it throughout the top eight. In Group C, we had Lohai, Junding, Atif, 
Book and Joe Crush. Joe Crush off of his yes. hot performance Ooh, with the LCQ the victory, but it wasn't enough because Lohai was on a mission. He Choo -choo. went undefeated throughout the group stage. And then Junding ended up cleaning it up in a, such a clutch oh my God. matchup against the defending champion, Atif. And Junding ended up securing his spot through the loser side. Then we go to Group D, which was oh another banger. My God, Talk to us dude. about that one. CBM, Ni, Daniel Model, the Italian stallion himself. Of course, Chikorin, a, a past TWT champion, and Tibitano. Ni, one of the long, long professed players that everybody thinks is always going to make it out of their group. But that shows you just how tough it was. He made it out on loser side against CBM, who was playing like a demon. And a lot of people don't understand that the reason that CBM made it out over Ni on the winner's side is because they go to the head-to-heads. And that's what makes it go to that point. It's not because of the tie. Correct. It actually is because of that head-to-head -head score, which actually made it so CBM made it out. So it was very, very, very nail-biting, you know so, what I'm So we know who made it out, but let's see how it plays out today as we go into the bracket and see how this is all going to go. Because we are going to crown a TWT champion, the final the Tekken final. 7 champion in the winner's side. All right, we got Olsan. KDF Olsan going up against KDF CBM. The team kill already starting off. But, of course, one of my highly anticipated matches, I'm telling you right now, Arslan Ash going up against Low High. This is, of course, on winner's side. And then if you go down to the loser's side, Mark Man, talk to him. We got Rang 2. We have Ni. Nee. Rang 2, a former TWT champion. Yep. Nee, who has been trying year after year to make it to the TWT championships, placing as high as third in the past twice. Now, uh, going to the other side of the loser side, we got Ao and Junding. Yeah. Ao, the sole oh, Japanese dude. representative here in the top eight. And, oh, man, I'm just looking at the variety here, okay? Unfortunately, no North American players, no European players, but we do have one Pakistani player, one Japanese player, and the rest from Korea. That is quite a statement. I mean, if you think about what this actually says about just Tekken's history overall and the fact that, you know, Pakistan was introduced to Tekken 7 recently. Them having any representation is actually all I need because I want people to understand how pivotal it was for Arslan Ash as well as players like Atif, I mean, Honey of Wise, all those players, Bilal, one of my favorite players, Khan. Oh, yeah. And just going over to the region and seeing them, I feel like this is one of the shining examples of that. And for the fact that he is here in the top eight on the final Tekken 7 tournament, this is perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be so sick. And every player, every region, everyone that has represented, yeah. whether you're from uh, the Americas, yes. Europe, the West, anywhere, you guys should be proud of yourselves. You guys have enabled your players to be able to participate at the world level, and it's been a wonderful story to see this over the past seven years. Yeah, but in, and now we get to the final bracket, the final Tekken Ooh. 7 bracket, where we're going to see the best players in the world go head-to-head -head for the final time. And guys... I really can't wait anymore to get to this action. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing us talk about bring the beginning out. of the matches. So let's bring them out. First and foremost, first to the stage, make some noise for Olson. And of course, Olson coming out here. He's been on fire. Coming back from his military service, he slowly but surely got back into the Tekken scene. Creeping up, and if you ask yeah. a lot of the players here, so even the players from Korea, they were saying that he is one of the best players to watch out for here. You can see he was on second in the global rankings. That's a lot of points. Yeah, especially just to come back and then still be that successful and that strong and that dominant with the characters that we really don't get to see as much anymore. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and call out his opponent here for this first round on winner's side. We got CBM. This dude, CBM, another player that I feel like I like to go back to that first Evo Japan with the Tekken 7, and you saw Arslan Ash, but you also saw CBM on that stage as well as one of the comers and one of the strongest players out there, switching over from the gen, hard body on the knock this now. And as you can see here, representing South Korea, he said he started playing a long time ago, around 18 years ago. That is a long time. That He's got a, some time in the game. That is a long time ago. He was third overall in the global ranking. You know, when I first heard of CBM, he was actually still living in Europe. He was mm. representing Europe, and he ended up play, uh, getting into the King of Iron Fist finals, uh, representing uh, that region for that one year. But man, it's again crazy to see how much he's grown as a player. He was obviously one of the best gym players, but now the preeminent Noctis player as well. So excited to see this first matchup between these two. Uh, I got to ask you, Steve, who do you think is going to take it? I mean, I feel like it can actually go either way. I mean, like, I feel like that's a better question posed for the crowd out there. I mean, that means you guys got to be with me on this the whole time. So Talk the first him. question I will ask you, if you guys would like CBM to take it, make some noise. 
But now I got a question for you, Steve, ooh, and for the crowd. Ooh. If you want to see Ulsan take it, make some noise. I, I like this. I like this. Okay, okay. Kind of down the middle. But I know we all want this good-ass Tekken, and this first game is going to be a big one. Yeah, and again, so important because this is the winner's side. You got to get every victory you can. You yeah. want to secure that spot in the winner's final, of course, eventually the grand finals. You want to play to your heart's content. You want to be able to do your best and have more chances to be able to live to fight another day. Yeah, especially now. I know a lot of people, want, once they come here and they see the, the group stages and the round robin, how this played, they're like, man, what is this? But I feel like that's one of the best ways to determine who's prepared to take on some of these players because it's an endurance game at that point. And you're fighting everybody in that group, all varying styles, who all know that they got to take you on. So you need to be prepared. But we're out of that now. This is two out of three. Whoever wins goes on, and you got one other chance to make it out. Any given Sunday. But, of course, this is the final Sunday for this game. Mm. I can't wait to see how this is going to shape up between these two. I have a feeling it's going to probably be be Kazumi versus Noctis as we go into it. But I could be surprised. We know Olsan, Olsan uses a number of characters. We've seen as Bob quite a bit yesterday. But when it came down to it, he ended up using Kazumi throughout the end of his uh, his uh, competition in the group stages. You know, it was it's, it's one of the things that I remember talking to Olsan about after he came back was his thoughts on Kazumi and Bob. Oh, yeah. Right? And you know how they kind of changed the character in, in his time away into now. A lot of people kind of abandoned Kazumi. You know what I'm saying? Even like Arsene kind of moved yeah. away from the character too. But I asked him about this long time ago. Like I said, when he came back, I believe we were in like France or something like that. And I was like, hey, what are your thoughts on He's like, no, I think that the characters are still strong. And on top of that, I think I have a good spread of characters throughout this. And it's obviously true because you can see where it got him so far where he was still one of the biggest threats in the world when it came to Tekken 7. But now, CBM on the other side, I feel like has really did the, the grindstone route to this. We're obviously switching characters, but now so strong with the Noctis, it's gotten him a top eight showing in the final Tekken World Tour. He, you know, most of his creeping into the points leaderboard happened after a few months, you know, he ended up going to a lot of these events, ended up placing very, very high, and he ended up getting third points overall, and that's not easy to do. That is definitely not easy to do. So, okay, I'm excited to see how he's going to play and how things are going to work out for him, but again, he has quite the challenge with Olsen. I feel like Olsen plays at such a different speed nowadays, especially with the way he's kind of revitalized his, his usage of, of Kazumi. Yeah, I mean, if you look at anything, we need to look at his movements. Bro, he moves so fast. If you, we if you watch any of the clips from yesterday. look at his hand, bro, my man be moving with the stick. So, of course, I think his movement is a major part of that as well. But just how precise he is, how he, how he makes sure you cannot play your game, and he can turn it on at an instant. And he plays at such a speed that a lot of people really can't keep up with him. So I'm glad you brought that up as well. Yeah, and of course, before we get into the matchup, I still want to also talk to you about the other players that we have. Um, if there's a chance that we could get a look at the bracket again, I just want to be able to kind of call it out, but uh, this next match, we talked about this, I think it's like the one to watch. It's mm -hmm. Lohai versus Arsene Ash, the other side of the winner's side bracket. That matchup, I feel like, is the one that everyone's going to watch, because whoever gets out there has a chance to win the whole thing. Ease. Ease. See, you know what I think? I think that that match is important because Lohai is on such a tear that he can actually affect the trajectory of this tournament. He seems unstoppable he, by this he point. He already has by taking out Atif. Like, yes. think about that. He's already yeah. affected the trajectory of this tournament just by doing as well as he has. Yes. But also, I, I, I don't want to be taken away from the Destin rematch, the Destiny match of me versus Arslan As. Like, I want I want, I want that to happen. Yeah, I really but want that to happen. Yeah, has his work cut out for him. He has to come in through the loser side. He has to go all the way. And then let's say Arslan keeps winning. Let's say Arslan ends up going to the winner's finals. Me is going to have to go the long way. The only way he's going be able to face him is if he meets him at the very end. And another thing, another player we got to talk about, Al. I think uh, people <sighs> aren't looking at the fact that, man, I feel like this has been a steady build-up climb to make get him to this point you know, so far. Al, Al has, has played in a lot of tournaments. He's placed second in a lot of tournaments. Yep. So he has the experience. He has the knowledge from going up against these great players in certain matchups and learning from his losses. Hopefully. That's the thing. It's like you, you lose, you have to go back to the drawing board, kind of figure yep. out how to overcome the obstacle in front of you. And he has that in front of him. Will he be able to pull it together here at the very end to be able to come out on top? That is a question, a legit question. And a long representative for Japan at this point, right? Oh, so yeah. The only Japanese player. But also in there that we, and I will never forget, wrong true.
people slept on Ronk for an entire tournament and literally is a TWT past champion. We have never had a repeat champion for the Tekken World Tour, and we have somebody that actually can do that. He's got the he father can be a power up. Yep, he can He's be got a the father power up. People don't understand. It's like you get something to fight for, you get better at fighting games. It's across the board. It's consistent, but also the fact that he's been in this position before where he could really win and take away everybody else's chances just because you're least prepared for his character draw. Not just that. He's such an evolved player now. He's not the Panda player that he he's used not. to be. He uses quite the arsenal of different characters and, you know, obviously been rocking the Julia for the most part, but he used a little bit of Anna yesterday. Yep. Yeah. He used a little bit of a lot of characters. So, again, I would not be surprised if he has something saved up for the finals. I mean, for a lot of these players, having something saved up for the finals, this is the time to let it all out, oh, to test national, yourself. Huh? Yes, yeah, save it. Save it. This is, again, there's no turning back from here. We already know. Two weeks from now, we're playing Tekken 8. Yo, I'm telling you. like, And, and I was one of those people. Like, I don't I, – obviously, I'm really happy about Tekken 8. But, yeah. like, I was so, like, fixated on, like – seven that like i wouldn't even want to play i played like a little bit of like the demo of course yeah, but, yeah like i really didn't go into it it's but not now, over till it's over it's not over so now i get the opportunity and it's made me more excited for the game coming down the pipeline because it's happening right after this now and the transition from tekken 7 to tekken 8 is even smoother now i feel like that they've shown us all that stuff today we got all this new avatar stuff I'm i can make my avatar do an electric like that's sick excited to spend some money on merchandise but i again this is the proper send off. This is where we get to see these players and everything that they worked for for the many years. Yeah. And we're finally going to crown a final champion for this. Oh, man. What about you, though? You ask me, who, who do you think is going to take it? So I'm not going to beat around the bush, Steve. I think this is all on Arson. Arson has an opportunity to win the Triple Crown. This is fact. He won Evo Japan, His he first. won Evo, and now he has a chance to win here. I can't wait to see how it works out for him because he, again, in his stage, his pool stage, he did very, very well, and he could go all the way. Yeah, I mean, he was still looking strong the entire time. Um, I feel like he's been kind of tempered now to deal with this kind of, like, oh, hailstorm, yeah. right? Like, I feel like until you get to this point, you're not ready to deal with this point because it's a completely different feeling to be in this spot on the stage like this, especially for the last time with Tekken 7. But I think... We're, we're, we're in there. It's time to go. we're in there. All right. Okay. Okay. So apologies about the wait, guys. We are about to get started with the very first match. I know you guys cheered a little bit earlier on, but it's finally time to make some noise. As the match gets ready to go, what stage are we going to get? Okay. Jungle Outpost 2, the first stage for the last time here in Tekken 7. Yo, crowd, make some noise as we get into this action. The final, final Tekken 7 Tekken World Tour is about to begin and is Noctis versus Kasumi. Here we go. This is kind of what we expected going into this. For me, I feel like it's whoever goes out the gates blazing. Who is going to put the hurt on early on? Because, again, there's a lot of tools from both of these players defensively that they can use to stop the other's offense. But who's going to come out on top? Who's going to be on top of each other? Which layer is going to come out on top? You know, these guys are teammates. They're training partners. Yeah. But they, they got to test each other beyond the beyond. Yo. All right, here we go. Yeah. And I was talking about how people kind of like gave up on Kazumi. Not my man. Uh oh, down one two. Pushing towards. Has uh, the opponent towards the wall here. Let's see if Ulsan can take advantage. That's going to be punished. Yeah, super risky right there. Especially so early on in this game. Mm, down four, one, two. But that's what happens, man. You talk about how familiar some of these guys are, especially being training partners. So they got to do something a little kooky. They got to go a little deeper into the repertoire if they actually want to get their opponent open up this time. Yeah, right now, Ulsan, though, with a nice life lead. But CBM does have rage, so you cannot count him out. All he needs was a nice counter hit. Might Blue be able stuff. to stab him. Mm -hmm. Keeps him at the wall here. The second is the duck. Ready for the down forward one extension. And what's crazy was he actually had that first hit. So if you would have let it rip, you would have been okay. The hesitation, of course. Look at this. Ulsan chopping away with those down forward one. Oh. But the Daga. Nice. Shadow Scissors gets the trade. This is going to be a full combo. And you're going to get to the wall because of it. Oh, and he gets the hit still. He gets the follow-up. Oh, he almost had the re-wall splat. We know about those. Oh, and he went over with the Fearless Warrior. Mm. But he was doing the ballerina with the 2-2. Two -two. Right, the 2-2. Two -two. I like it. The ballerina 2-2. Two -two. There we go. Tied up on rounds. And look at this. Such a great approach move. That's Shadow Scissors. It's something that you cannot say is, is, I mean, it's so strong, right? Yeah, it's really strong, especially when it comes to, like, the approaching. He already has a lot of range when it comes to controlling, like, screens, so just having that at your disposal as well. 
up 4-1 on top of that, but more pokes than anything. And CPM likes to really save that, actually. He really likes to save it to where you get a little too uncontrollable, but he's like, nope, face that, just like that. Like, yeah, he really... You gotta watch out. But, you know, Ulsan, not afraid. You know, he is so good. He's, he got that 0080 war in the pocket. He fights up close. He's good against it. And look at that punish. Man, I don't know if that down 4-2 is exactly what he wanted, but Ulsan was ready. He didn't fall for it. I mean, maybe look at those any kind of retaliation at that point. CBM definitely takes that gamble sometime, but once again, I feel like this is something going to come from two players that are familiar with each other. They got a lot of games under the belt. Oh, yeah, he's starting to use the stature kicks. He's really trying to open them up yeah. with these lows, and they are working, but he has the position at the wall. Not going to get out of there. You got to be careful. There's a tiger drive. Mm -hmm. Command throw. Oh, oh, going for the mid this time. Mixes it up with the low. Olsan in control. Oh, right now, how did he, now how that's did he a down that? forward two that he meant. And guess what? He's in rage, has the and the wall. And the wall didn't get the full combo. Oh, the drive, Side but he whipped. Down, he whipped. Forward one. What a call out. My man looked to the right to, and seemed like he was looking for CBM. That was insane. He was point blank, but Ulsan with the knowledge, you know what? I'm going to step. Oh, man. Because that could have been a nasty mix up had he blocked it. <sighs> all right, all right. First game, Ulsan. Man, Olsan has come such a long way, man. He's come such a long way, Man, dude. I can't even, I'm like, it's it's getting to me right now. This is a race to two. Uh, yeah. This is a race to two. You want to be able to get to the matches where you get to the extended sets. But right now, he has one more game to get there. Can Olsan do it? He's going to the geometric plane. Let me bring out my calculator. All right. I will teach you the meaning of fear. Kay was there at a very good point. You think she just pulls out a dictionary? Yeah, like, man. Sometimes you just got to start talking to people without scaring them. Hit him with the Webster's. Doctors don't know nothing about these Final Fantasy. Right. Okay. Means something completely different in the world of Final Fantasy. <laughs> well, here we go. Okay, chopping away. It was crazy what we saw in the last round there where CBM got that nice clutch down forward too. He was able to evade that back too from Kazumi point mm -hmm. blank. And it was really only that was the only time that they had base in this came in nice. Good pull there on the wall setting 2 2. And he, he makes the mm. adjustment there for the forward, forward, four. Hit throw. What he did. Oh, man. He got the pickup. Yo, the fire. Oh! Cleaning up shop here. Yo, Whoa! Tiger by my side. Not going to work out. Great block. Yeah, he tried to put him in the blender there. Great transition there, but CBM was aware. Going in for the crushing lows. I like that. Sprinkling in the lows there. A little 2-2 two -two just to make sure. Keep you honest. Oh, aye, aye. He's got to watch out for move. That is a specialty move for CBM here. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one of his go-tos. Tricks you to start moving a lot. Shadow Scissors is going to hit. Yeah, and on the trade, he has enough time to be able to follow up and get the combo. He's going to get the wall here and into the Evo Blue stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, Rage yeah. on the table for Kasumi. Oh, and it's yeah. looking really good there. No. Then from Crouch down forward to Swipe. Here we go. Two rounds straight for CBM. Momentum shifting right now. And really, these lows really starting to add up. And look at the range he's playing at. Yeah, the way he's playing, too, he's coupling that down back three, that, that quick low with the shadow scissors. He's really making Ulsan kind of second guess himself on how he's going to approach offensively. He does not want to get hit by that big counter. Here, that's mm -hmm. why. Saw a little up four one right there. He's looking for the hit. Not going to oh, get it while rising. Instant while standing. Uh, Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. He's going to have the wall. Nice transition follow up. Re wall splat. Oh, he Thought we were going to see another one. Yeah, didn't believe there. Oh, oh, no break on the throw. He's in rage. Wall. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that blue stuff. You got to be careful for it. Out of range there on the down two. Yeah. Ooh, Ulsan it. with the whip mm. punish. Man, yeah. Kazumi's pose when she, like, chopped him in the face like that. That looked cool as hell. Yeah. Sprinkling in the lows again. Look at how far he gets to play back. With, with Noctis. That's exactly what I was going to point out. He gets to play so far away. Yeah, right now, CBM's kind of in control. Oh, the second hit. Kind of in control there. He's, again, sparingly using those lows, trying to create opportunities for his big homing attack. Oh, magic four. Just a four two just to keep the combo going. Uh, uh. To the gets wall. The wall. Oh, oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, my gosh. 50%. Stature kick right after it. Goes for the stagger. Oh! Hey, get out of there. Noctis fighting back. I like that. Oh, no break on the throw. He's going to get the splat, too. Oh, no. Oh. Too far. But hey, the running, too. We're going to a final round here. This is a decisive round for Ulsan. Can he take it and move on? Will he be able to secure a ticket into the winner's final? Oh, and now it's Ulsan starting to chop away at the legs. A little risky right there. Oh, oh wow. right wow. through it. Out. Yo, scissors not immune to throws. Throws beat scissors? Okay. 
Ooh, oh, look at that. Oh, get in the nut stop, baby. Oh, power crush not going to do anything. CBM in trouble. CBM in a lot of trouble. Stagger on the wall. Makes you think about it. He's trying Goes to catch for him. mid. Oh, what a block. Wow. And the hesitation. Hits him with the low afterwards. Ulsan able to move on. And now into the loser bracket, CBM. He's going to have to go the long way. The long way. <sighs> And we already know who's down on that lower bracket. You got to be careful. Nothing but sharks down there. It's just blood in the loser's oh, bracket. Yeah. That's all it is. Olsan oh. being strong, though. Taking out his teammate. But I feel like, look, if you can do that, you have the mentality to be champion. You have to, you have to take out your friend. Like, look, man, it's only, it can only be one of us. Only one of us is going to go only in there. Only the strong. And I want it to be me. Somebody you, call you're an ambulance. Olsan, you're my friend. Not today. Not today. We're only going to have one enemies. champion. But hey, man, that was a great opening set between those two. I feel like it really could have gone either way. Yes. But at the very end, Ulsan started pulling away. And he really made things count. So good stuff to Ulsan. He is now in the winner's finals where he's going to be playing extended rounds and matches a little bit later on. But we're going to find out who he's going to go up against because we have another matchup on the other side of the winner's bracket. I'm excited to see that, of course. Oh, uh, it's going to be a banger. It's going to be it a banger. Looked, so again, the match to watch, the, in my the, opinion. Like I said, the thing is, is that our other winner's match has the potential to completely steer this tournament. It, that's literally what can happen. And I feel like there's so many different stories being told at the same time. Once again, who's going to be the most dominant region in Tekken 7 when the book closes? Who's going to be the last champion that they write about in the world of Tekken 7? Let me get a copy Find of that book. Today. I want that. I'll buy it twice. As we're going to take a look at the bracket. So talk about that next match potentially that, could, that we could be getting. Well, at least on the winner's side, Arslan Ash versus Lohai. And, and you kind of put it on, on the table. It's like this is Arslan's tournament to, to lose at this point. Correct. Like I feel like he has the perfect momentum going into this when it comes to how well he's done globally at this point, as well as just being a representative of Tekken and Pakistan and continuing to do so well into Tekken 7's lifespan. Yeah, and I don't even want to say that as like a thing where that adds additional pressure to him. Yeah. He knows this. This no, is his last shot. It. Yeah. This is his last shot. And for all these players, but I'm telling you right now, like as an intro game, you want this to be the stamp. You're like, you know what? I was made my mark this time so much so that I got the triple crown. I won an Evo Japan, an Evo US, and the Tekken World Tour. Yeah, but can he do it? So again, Ulsan already in the winner's final. Arson Ash and Lohai gonna be coming up next, and then Rang Chu and Ni, nee, and then waiting in the midst, we have CBM going up against the winner of Ao and Junding later on. Man, like that John Ding set the other test. John like, the oh, Ding. My John the Ding. Yo, he must be door. powered up. I mean, they just showed. Yeah, he, I was talking to Eddie. him a little bit. He must he be was pumped. Like, yeah. I can tell the energy was there. He's like, yeah, Eddie, yeah. So that'll be a fun one to watch a little bit later on. But again, thanks, guys, for tuning in and watching with us throughout the many years of Tekken 7's lifespan. And I can't wait. Nah, man, this is a. Uh, Obama kept saying this. And like, I'm like super grateful. For Tekken 7, man. Tekken 7 changed my life too, man. Got it changed me to, our just, lives, man. Got, look, got me to Japan the first time, you know what I'm saying? We got to play in a Master's Cup. Me, we were on a oh sick team. God. Bro, it was, dude, Tekken 7. I was waiting ridiculous. for us to get kicked out of that nah, event. Was, we were well, too loud. I was definitely <laughs> thinking we were going to get. But then, like, as the tournament went on, you found out, yo, Japan was mad loud. When it comes to the team tournaments, bruh, Japan got loud. And oh, yeah. it was a great time. But, I mean, Tekken 7 has done so much, man. Like, and I saw somebody who Harada actually signed their original Tekken copy, like with the huge PlayStation box. Oh, okay. It the was long like box, big, the OG, glass. Yeah. I was like, what the? Like, why he still had all the small stuff, instruction booklet stuff, and I'm like, bro, why you do you know this is like instant classic? Like, <laughs> like they're trying to get rid of physical media, and you have this. This is like some relic, you know? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Again, like, celebrating the anniversary of this wonderful series. I feel a little old, but I also feel really good. No, I mean, look. I feel like it's so much history in this game that, like, everybody will feel old by the time Tekken 8 get here. I was talking to Richie about this as well, man. Like, he literally was saying, hey, like, I can't believe this is Tekken 7 for me. Look how much has happened. I was like, man, I got introduced to you in this game. I got introduced to you in this game, and now you're at the Tekken World Finals. Like, you're here playing there. I've seen him around the world. He came to SF, got to hang out a little bit, and it's been amazing so far. But more history in this game to come, especially with the matches that we're about to get into. With that being said, our next player coming to the stage for the match will be none other than Lohai. And Lohai, hot off of his performance yesterday, did so well, really dominant in the group stage. He's been away from the game for a while, but now back with a vengeance. He is here to fight and 
which player influenced him the most is the guy he's going to be facing. Right? Arsenal and Ash. I mean, look, I, it was one of the things Kate Wiz pointed out yesterday. He's like, yeah, I think he is Arsenal and Ash. Yeah. But not in the way that you think he is. It's yeah. like, yo, I need no to go way. beat that guy, Arsenal and Ash. And I really so, think so, that it's, this is a chance to prove it, especially as one of the strongest players out there. It's good to see him back. But with his last chance to claim it, the Tekken World Tour Championship, next to the stage, make some noise for Arsenal and Ash. There he is, the shining star of Pakistan, who really helped change the landscape of the Tekken world. When he burst onto the scene in uh, 2019, really, really did well. I mean, some people would argue that he did a little bit earlier than that. He ended up winning a few tournaments here and there, but he really put his stamp on the Tekken world in that 2019 year. And again, right now, first, he has so many points of the possible points of the TWT. And he was able to really secure that and secure his trip early on. But he still kept going to events, kept training, kept, kept trying. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he's really shifted because, again, he really dominated with uh, with uh, Kazumi when he first stepped into the scene. Now kind of shifted towards Safina and the Kunimitsu, which ultimately is the character that he's yeah. been winning with the most. Yeah, I mean, it's really strange because I remember telling people like how before Arslan made his debut, Nobody was playing Zafina. Nobody cared. Like, nobody cared. But the person who made that character work to that degree was Arslan Ash. That's, I feel like a lot of times now, a lot of players' DNA of the character come from what Arslan has done. At least their most successful ones in a lot of instances. And that's no shade to anybody else. But you see it on the stage right now. And these guys are getting into it. And Lohai has asked ever so nicely for a blind pick. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, guys, yo, crowd, before they put their heads on so they, they can hear you. If you guys would like Arslan Ash to take it, make some noise! Oh, that's nice. That's, that's nice. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Yo, it's a Korean. That's a Korean flag right there. But what about the return of a past champion himself, an Evo champ? If you would like Lohan to take it, make some noise! Oh, it's about to get spicy. 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 It's about Oh, whoa, 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 when it comes to finishing on anybody, you know, any character, any player say. with the skills of Brian, he's got hey, the execution, he's got the damage, he's got yeah, the power, like, uh, and here it comes right now. now. Let's go. Uh, whatever influence Loai has had over the past few months is crazy. He said no cap uh, on Twitter earlier. Bro, I don't know who taught him how to do that, but you should be ashamed of yourself. And also, thank you. But here we go, three plus four. All right, starting things off here again. Not, again, do not adjust your screens. This is a legit match here. Yes. Low high with the Brian Pick. Arson Ash with the Noctis. Mm. Oh, what a punish here. He knows he gets a knockdown there from, from Crouch Jump Forward. 2 oh. 1. Back to back. Oh, oh I, lo I love the cancel off of that. And that is one of my favorite combos in all the fights. Low high, right, right away. Drawing first blood here. Oh. Gets the counter hit. Shotgun knee. Uh, bang. Uh, to the wall we go. Oh, he bobbled the combo. Is it just a fight back? Yeah. Just to get out of there. I like the board momentum. But that oh move. Wait God. a minute. Where are you going? Oh, oh. Big damage. Big damage. Double taunt. Get up three. And Arson in the red. He has to be very, very careful here. Low high with a huge life lead advantage. Okay, the stabby. Go a little further on the string as well. Nice low jab to interrupt it. Mix up the Oh, I like Every it. Time. I like it. He's Every playing time. safe as possible. You're not gonna get anything. Oh, oh wait a minute! You wait a minute! If you swing big enough, yo, he got the ball. Oh, he dropped oh, it. No. He wasn't ready. 
the specialty wasn't there. Oh no. I Let me like get a number two. Nerves. I feel like that's the nerves. All right, all right. Two big mistakes here ended up costing him the round. Now Lohai with the two round lead here. Hatchet. In this unprecedented character matchup, no, no Ooh, one gonna guess this. trade combo. You're going to the wall. That uh uh gonna hurt. Yo, the momentum. Get up. You go back four. Get up. This is crazy. The momentum shift I'm feeling right now is insurmountable. What is Arthur gonna do? He has to deal with this. Come from behind. Oh, that is game number one for Lohan. Yo, that was yo control. The Th blind pick worked out. And, oh my goodness! And that was control. Low high. Not even breathing. Okay, okay. We know he's gonna switch characters. What's he gonna do here? Cooney. You think so? You think I that's th he's I gonna th lock I it th in? I think Cooney. I th I, that's what I think. I think Cooney. Oh, oh, boy. oh that is powerful. Oh my Just God, that is two, powerful, These bro. two stars coming together. The Tekken to levels. Discuss. The Tekken level that is on your screen right now. It just skyrocketed. Right. Mom, my TV just exploded. It's because of these guys on the screen. Damn, you gonna put all of them up there? You just want it to over you just overfuel and pop explode? Man, these games are about to be sick. Game number one, though, goes to low high. Oh, yeah. And now, and convincingly, Atif, convincingly. Convincingly. A confident first game, but Atif now talking to Arsenal. Giving him some words of advice. Yo, make those words count. Your boy is down 1-0 right now. He might be going to the loser's back here. Lohai is on fire. The, again, I was telling you that momentum, I felt like there's no way he could beat him. That dog, I, look, I said this during the group play. I was like, if Lohai continues to play like this, who is going to stop him? Yeah. Like, he is playing yeah. amazing. He might be so strong, he's going to set us in a time machine. Right. We're going to go back 20 We're years go and back. keep playing this game. Got to go back and play more Tekken 7? All right. Man, they up there having a, a, a coffee table conversation, huh? All right, looks like he is ready, locked and loaded. We have the characters, we have the stages picked. What is the strategy here for Mr. Arsenash? How is he going to bounce back from this deficit? Let's see, I'm going to see this character. Uh, the Kuni Mitsu, it's, you called just it, as Steve. I figured, just as I figured. But we're going to the beach. While we're here, I got to give a lot of love to the Pakistani community because yes. they really leveled up yes. their players quite a bit. They've had their major events as well. I know you were out there. Bruh, I'm going to tell you right now, that community is strong. I remember being there. They had Osan in the tournament, all these amazing international players. And I remember talking to the locals, and they were like, yeah, there's not going to be any foreigners in our top eight. I'm like, bro, Osan is right there. Like, what do you mean? But they are so strong, man. And it was an honor to be over there and see them play at that level, especially for a tournament like that. But here we go. Speaking of that region, like you said, the shining star. Arsenal. Ooh, the back dash. That little bitty hitbox working out. Cooney thinks, huh? Right, all right. Mm -hmm. Set two, not going to get anything from it. So the one big thing that we're going to see here from Kuni Mitsu, she's going to be able to slow things down quite a bit for the mm. matchup, unless you're not facing him. Oh, had to do it again. Delay on the one-two-one. One. Oh, oh, the countering yeah, setup. Yeah, the jab, not going to be able to catch her out of the float. Oh, and the balcony break. Big damage right there. Oh, and the follow-up here, guaranteed. Yeah, damage. Look at that. Arson with a huge lead now here in this opening round. That down back 3G, it's going to put in so much work. He's fishing right now with the three plus four. Not even getting anything big. Looking for a counter hit right there. Arson Ash doesn't bite. Yeah. Using the evasives. All right, so Arson finally getting around. That's his first round in the set so far. Okay. I like it. Able to mm. fight back and kind of test them with these folks. Reset the neutral position, and here comes Lohai again. Lohai pressing. Yeah, back one down jab to stop the pressure this time. No oh. break on the throw. Uh. Oh. Duck on the hit here. That's a nice catch. Of course. Oh, try to catch him. Set two. Axie gets the hit this time. A little delay on the string. Axie finds a couple of hits versus Loha, and this time the power crush and still gets the float two rounds straight right now for Arsenal Ash. The Loha not giving up. Still going in with the offensive potential here of his Brian. But got the set, the set two. Again, the toolkit that Kuri Mitsu has is just mm -hmm. so good. Especially for closing the distance versus a character like Brian. Oh, got yes. him! Oh, yes. Big nice. damage potential here on the wall. He needs to be careful. Move Look at the this. Desk. Here's the follow up here. What's he going to do at the wall? Nice! The Fisherman pink against the wall. He loves these combos. Uh. Oh, that was a sick adjustment. Oh, and the round goes to Lohai. He waited so long. The discipline. Sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes it just Hatchet. takes that one moment to get the groove back. Uh oh, set three. Oh, the Caught counter the peak in the wild standing three. Uh, this is huge. Uh, this is uh. huge. 
Wow. That little bitty hitbox, bro. Nice punish there from Arson. Pushing back the other way now. He's going to have to get out of there. Does not want to have his back to the wall. Doesn't want to get kneed in the face. Back one. Oh, and Arson with the confirmation. The ball, he dropped it. But he keeps him at the wall, though. This is not too bad. No break on the one plus two. Oh, uh, not dead, though. One mix-up could do it. Proof the power crush to get through. Arslan, Ash, did you see the life bar? It's like he reacted to it. Did you see the that life bar? That was crazy. Oh, my God. Okay, an amazing series. Back and forth here. It's now one apiece, all tied up, and it's come down to this. Arsenal looking good in that last game. And knee comes up on oh the Oh, my stage. God. Oh, I almost spit my water out, bro. You can't. Yo, the tech and power levels are crazy. I did not expect this either. I did not. Oh, my God. This is crazy, bro. Do y'all not understand? This is actually crazy. The arguably the two best players in each respective country yes. are now having a mini meeting on the stage to talk about how do we get our countrymen to the top. Somebody clip this. I need somebody clip this, please. This is crazy. Oh my god. Need the goat, bro. Bruh. Helping him out and he could potentially be on and the, the other side. And the thing is they play similar characters. They yes. both use Brian. They both use Steve yes. as well. So they're talking it out. And I'm sure the knowledge Oh my, oh my god. god, this is gonna be this crazy. Is this is crazy. crazy. And dude, Need my face low high later. You That's never what know. I'm saying. This like, is crazy. They literally could run into each other. That's how you know it's more than about just the initial victory. It's more than that. There's a lot on the line. Oh my god, dude. Okay, they're they're giving him the warning. Coaching oh. is done. What do you got? Oh my god. He, Steve, he's locked into Brian. Yo, let's he's go. He's gonna do it with the Brian. Oh my gosh. And he's gonna pick. This fire is raging. It's Souk. We got a smaller stage oh, here. Oh man. Oh my god. You wow. hear the crowd? You hear that? Wow. It's clear who they want to win. Shaking the floor. Chanting for Lohai. Bro, I've never felt this hype this early on in the top Bro, eight. Bro, it's the second game of the top eight. And already, sparks are flying. Oh, here we go. Game number three, Lohai versus Arslan Ash at the final Tekken 7 World Tour. Oh, my God. Winner of this single game will move on to the winner's final, where Ulsan is waiting. Mm -hmm. But again, only one of these players can do it. Let's go. Oh, look at this neutral here. This battle early on. Again, the stage is smaller. So if anybody is able to get a launch or even a knockdown, they might be able to push towards the wall. Yep, hatch it. Oh. Little jab there, just to try to keep honest and nice. Okay, while setting one's attack. Mm, went for the full crowd, gets interrupted. Set two, not gonna get anything. Looking for a bait, that was so good. Yeah, he tried to catch him on the hesitation, but here Arson with the mix up again with the throw. That did work out for him quite a bit early on. Yeah, he was successful with two of those throws. Back one. Sometimes it's the rhythm, sometimes it's all about the rhythm. How are you gonna oh, thread these in? To interrupt. Oh, two, two in the pace, like you said before. This is gonna make it so Arslan can actually slow down the game. And now Lohai on the ropes. One round in this final game in favor of Arslan. And he has to walk. Oh, oh my god! What a whip punish and reaction from Arslan Ash. He's gonna push towards the wall here. Nice wall combo follow up here. Oh, he misses the tech roll. And Lohai is out of there already. Could have been much more damage, so he got lucky there. And look at what's happening right now. All these small hits are starting to add up. Okay. Puts the brakes on here, goes for the throw again. Low 30 high. seconds left on the clock, a little Just, too slow to get the whip punish. Yeah, Lohai kind of holding four, back four, now. Two. Does not know where to get in, the and the cross turn. up, and now Arslan Ash poised to make his winner's finals dream come true, and especially when you're that close to the final. Low high, letting it slip away it seems. One Down two away. rounds. You can't count him out though. Cannot count he him fought out. so hard yesterday and today. Wow. There's a counter hit. He's fighting back. Uh-uh. That's wall. That's big damage. Uh -uh. That's that big, big, big mix up too. What are you going to do? Oh. He's still at the wall though. Arson has to be careful. Good way to get out. I love it. Yeah. Oh, tried to go for the 3 plus 4. Did not work out. Great whiff button. Trying to move. Okay. Low high. You have to danger. watch out for the big sweep too. He's got a chance though. Oh. Big swing with the jet upper. It's blocked. Looking for the set. One mix-up could do it. One more hit. 
And Arslan Ash, three rounds straight, mm -hmm. sends Lohai to the loser's bracket. Now, I just said, he is now in the winner's final against Ulsan. Again, we will see that later today. But great job to Arslan. And you saw the little mini pop off oh, from Arslan. Yeah. You saw the little mini pop off. A lot of respect to both of those players. And what an adjustment by Arslan. You said it yourself. He's like, he's slow gonna be able to slow it down. And that really did seem to put Lohai at odds. He really didn't have a spot Ooh. to where he felt like it was comfortable for him to swing it a lot of times. Oh man. Hey, we got good seats. We got great seats. <laughs> I'll be a season ticket pass holder for these bad boys Sign any day Sign of the week. Up. Sign me up. I want the newsletters and everything. I want them all, especially if it gets me into the good-ass Tekken like this. And that is going to be the winner's side. We now, if I'm not mistaken, going to go down to the loser's side and start to see some of these matches and how they're going to play out. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the final Tekken 7 representation for the world tour, the global finals. Mark Mann and myself guiding you guys through, and we are just as excited as you guys are for these matches. Oh, yeah, it's been a fun-filled weekend, a reunion of sorts, you know, a little bit bittersweet knowing that Tekken 7's life cycle is going to be ending, but we have something to look forward to, of course. A few weeks from now, we're going to have Tekken 8, but not just that. I can't wait to see how these players are going to grow and move on from this and continue in the new game as well. Let's go ahead and look at the bracket and see how we got here so far in the matches that have transpired early on. Ulsan and CBM went at it. Ulsan ended up taking that 2-0, and just recently on the stage, we had Arsene Ash from Pakistan going up against Lohai, from Korea, and that was a two to one in favor of Arsenal Nash. So now we have the winner's final secured for later on today. And now we kind of turn our heads towards the loser's bracket to see, again, these matches that are coming up, Steve, these <sighs> matches are elimination matches. Yes. It is the end for every one of these players moving forward. Yeah, and think about it. This is your last chance to even, even try this, to even do this for this game. We yeah. begin anew after this, but the match that we have coming up, Rangchu versus Ni. Now, we already talked about the fact that Rangchu is a past Tekken World Tour champion. Yep. He's been in this situation yep. before, and I felt like the same way he won that in his presence there, where he's kind of like snuck under, even though he's so strong, still able to get the W and is going to try to do it again here at the finals. Make some noise for rank two. There he is. One of the preeminent players here on the, the Tekken World Tour. Rank two, former TWT champion. Mm -hmm. Really put himself on the map with that Panda victory back in 2018. And he's been on top of the Tekken World since. You know, he's been doing so well. Really trying to fight his way back into here. Global ranking eighth place. And what player has influenced him? Only himself. Only myself, bro. He's like, only I influence me. That's all I really need. And he's rocking the leverless controller as well. I remember seeing I remember seeing how strong he was offside of it. And now he's even adapted it, been a lot better. Like I said, he's a new father, thinking about the family. And I think that really does play a part. Like I said, it becomes a lot better when you got something to fight for as a father with Rang Chu, but here we go. One of the best to ever do it. You just saw him on a stage and definitely trying to make history as your next opponent. Make some noise for me. Oh my God. What can be said about this amazing? I mean, if there was a Hall of Fame, he'd be in it. Free. He no is one of the asked. greatest of all time. Yes. The yeah. legend. That dude is ridiculous. That dude is oh, ridiculous. Oh, he took the knee up. That dude is ridiculous, bro. I've been watching this player for years, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. I mean, he started playing back in Tekken 1, and of course, he only influences himself. Yeah, and again, he's been such a great player throughout the many iterations yes. of Tekken that I've seen. I remember when he first started traveling uh, back in the Tekken 5 DR days, eventually Tekken 6, he started getting more global attention, and he just has been dominant ever since then. So being able to see him still playing and still dominating and still doing very, very well, Year after year, it's just something something so cool to see. I mean, it, it really is amazing to see how consistent Ni has been all these years across all these games and at such a level. Like, to be so – I feel like he's prolific in the name oh, yeah. of Tekken, right? Like, you can't even think about Tekken without thinking about Ni and how long he's been here doing the highest level of play, especially for all the people watching. Man, I've been a long-time fan. It's been amazing to even start commentating his matches. You know what I'm saying? That's how important it is. But here we go. Rong Chu versus Ni. Nee. This is going to be fun. And uh, what I'm thinking here is like, Ni nee has been surprising a lot of people lately. You know, he kind of sealed away the Brian Fury for a minute, yeah. right? But more often than not, lately, he has been using that Brian Fury. So I would not be surprised if we see him with that pick. I, did they just call for a blind pick? 
not sure. I'm not sure. However, Rangchu is another one of those players right now where he could use a number of characters. He's got multiple he characters. He used a little bit of Anna. He used a lot of Julia yesterday. Yes. But which one is he going to take here into the field here in this opening game? Okay, it's a race to two. If you lose those two, you are out of the tournament. You're sitting in the bleachers. You're going home at seventh place. All right. And that's a long flight no matter what. I mean, look, New Orleans is an amazing place, but you're still going to be sad when you leave. You're going to be double sad now. Uh-huh. Ah, there we go. Blind pick. That's what I like to see, though. That's how you know these guys have come so far in the world of playing Tekken at a competitive level. They yep. have other characters there that they literally can put in that spot to win them championship matches. That's how you know these guys are professionals. Yeah, they're, they, I mean, these guys are multiple character masters. They use a ton of characters. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see this. You guys saw that. On the screen, it is Julia and Brian. Another player, I feel like, wrong Julie. Hey, man. Julia was really strong. Steve, I got to ask you. What's I up? was uh, watching some of the group stages from the hotel room yesterday. Okay, okay. And I saw Brian. I saw Nee pull out Brian. He was playing like his, like his younger self. Oh, he was super aggressive. The Brian of old? He was taunt, canceling, taunt, dashing. And I lost my stuff. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? Here we go. He, I feel like he sealed away Brian for the last seven years for this moment. Uh, well, look, I want, I want to ask the crowd. If they would like rank two to take it, make some noise! There you go, there you go. But what if you like the legend himself, the Brian player himself? Make some noise if you would like me to take the set! All right, here we go. Already blocking. Big wall standing one launch. He's going to push towards the wall, but it's kind of sideways. Mm -hmm. Still gets a clean wall hit here. The follow up. Oh my gosh, he's going. Mm -hmm. And we know that's the prime location for a Brian player. Yes, keep him to the walls. No, Shredder Kick's not going to be the answer. Tries to go for a quick side step, looking for a move just to get it. Oh, yo, you saw the taunt taunt? Yo, yo, I haven't seen that in a minute. But here we go. Good patience there. My man is moving forward with the taunt. Okay, but right now, good position for Rank 2. Mm. But Knee fighting out of it, using that down forward one string. Okay. Taunt cancels into the forward forward one plus two throw here. Keeping him honest here. They bounce. switch positions and this big bounce. Uh, big follow has the wall. The wall you, you do not tech roll. Okay, nice wall. Sandy 4 gets the knockdown here. Being able to fight uh, back, but he has to watch out for this mix up. 4 4 4 not going to do anything. Blue stuff to get, build some space. Aren't you in trouble? Oh my gosh. Keeping him at bay with that presence of that down forward one. A 1 1 punish and the oh, bone no. arrow. Whoa, and the party crasher on the wall. Catching him standing up. That wall being there made it a lot harder, too. So that was really yeah. smart. It enables such good Oki by the wall there. That elbow, he moved a little bit and he got Oof. hit. Oh, the second hit gets the follow up. Mm. Hatchet, do it again. I okay. said, do it again. Mm. Okay, good block. This time gets the knockdown, and this could be the momentum shift that he needs. Gets the counter hit. The G clef. The push here. What's he going to do? And, oh, he's, he is he's he's, swerving. Yeah. His sidestep game is on point right now. Knee evading a lot of the attacks Rank 2 is throwing out. Rank 2 is going to have to kind of be a bit more meticulous how he's making this approach. A full circle around each other right there. Oh, yeah. They're circling each other. Oof. Oh, there you go. And that's one way to do it. Crash the party. Oh, and this follow-up is guaranteed. When you're ducking, you get hit by that down 4-1. Mm -hmm. That down 4-3 follow-up is guaranteed. Right now, Rank 2 2-1 on rounds. Oh, he, he's found the, what he needed. Mm -hmm. Wow. That no delay elbow. Oh, the Shredder kicks five. is marked back to the wall. That's perfect. Yeah. And you know Julia can take you to the wall. 4-4-2-1, four, four, yep. Into the uh. stop. 4-4-3 four, four, uh. guaranteed afterwards here. Big mix up. Went for the war drums. I like that. Just taking the first hit. You could finish it. Make him guess. Yep. Oh, he caught him moving in there. It's another mm. elbow. Three rounds to one, Rang Chu. And look at the control, how that switched over to Rang Chu's favor. And he was playing so offensive, dashing into his face. Especially he the first two rounds. Yeah. yeah, he's playing super offensive. Yo, yo, he went straight to rematch. They oh, are going right back commitment. into it. I like it. Yo, no, no time to breathe. Hit him while it's hot. Round one. Knee wanting that smoke. Ooh. Oh, counter hit. Down two, three. Now pushing the other way. Again. Jeez, one of these players is going home. He making those side steps here this time. Rank two trying to catch him, dashing in as far as he can to be able to get the mix up in his face. Caught you ducking right there. Not a counter hit, but still. Quick nice. side step, almost away from that wall. Woo! Magic four finds it moving around too much. Knee in trouble. Nice down two three, but he doesn't get the combo. Down back three, he's adding up, keeping the poking consistent. Full crouch low to get under the high. Gotta be careful here. 
He has good positioning here. He goes for a jump back. Build a little space. 18 seconds left on the clock. Something has to happen. Oh, yeah. He's in his face. There's the drive. Spins the blue. Oh! oh. Got to be careful. Put the brakes on. Oh, the party crash. Look. It's been move. the party crash. It's been the party crash the whole time. That move is really, really making it hard for me to start any offense. And now the Shredder Kicks finds his mark. Me on the wall in trouble. What's the mix up? Goes for the wardrobe. Nice block there from me, mm. but a counter hit from Rank 2. Rank 2 right now starting to run away with it. The 1-1-1. One, one, one. Got the hit on the wall. Up around right here. Wow, Man, look at him just stuffing him. Up. How's he going to deal with it? He's going to have to watch out for that particular move. And just like that, one round away from eliminating me. Can Rank 2 do it? Oof. Get oh. the trade. Down back 2 to get the pick up. All right, he pushes him towards the wall. He runs in. Down two, they trade. Oh! oh, oh. Just goes through the standing four. Could have had a lot more. Lots of offense coming from me right now. Jabs to stop the spin. Second hit. Keeps him there. No play. Oh, he oh. delays it. Oh, even. Oh, my Whoa, that is God. huge. Crushing the high. And this is big damage on the table right here. Look right. at the run back. Try to catch him here. The mock kick. Me outside of range. Good break. Oh, they both oh, have no. it. Spins the blue. The wall is there. No chip damage, though. Not close enough, but that's oh! a magic four! Dragging the boot to get the last hit. Knee still alive. Staying alive to fight another round. Uh, Is this the shift that he needed? Is this the momentum that he needs? Oh, what a low parry. parry. You're going to the wall. Nice four, four, four. Extra damage, no. but he misses it. He misses it. Hatchet. Oh, no. Pokes of his own adding up. Knee cannot lose this round. Three uh -oh. plus four. Knee starting to wake up. Try to catch him. Oh, oh nice step. Four. Hatch it again. Looking for a string move. Great punish there from Rong Chu. Oh, he and got him. Get him with the get up three, and that's a combo extension. Knee still alive. One after the bell. Once again, Knee can't lose this round. Yeah, he's fighting for his tournament life here. Final round here, game number two. Got to be careful with that party crasher. Oh, yeah. Nighttime action here. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Has him near the wall, so you got to be careful. Yeah, you saw what happened last time. That big high crush came out of nowhere. Almost made it curtains for my boy, Knee. Great nice. side step. Oh, my it. gosh. I haven't seen any orbitals whatsoever. Oh, as soon as you call it out. This time getting punished here on the whiff. Nice jab challenge. Oh, four, four, four. Nothing to come. Oh, what a no. blush. And he might kill him here. He, he might be able to end it. Knee taking us to a final game here in this loser side match the crowd erupts you know who they're behind that was so clutch my my heart stopped during Man, the bow and arrow is, during the bow and arrow i was like wait right a minute now. my heart is pounding right now all right all right calm down everybody here we go we got easy, ourselves another easy. game keep it together keep it together we're taking it to the ah. dojo. Ah, oh, man. Damn, I'm going to miss this game, bro. Oh, my God. This game is so ridiculous. Tekken 7, you son of a gun. If you were a person, I'd see you after a long time. Tekken 7. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You son of a gun. How's the kids? <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Final game between these two. Give it up for them. Yo, make some noise for these guys, bro. The Tekken is going so high right now. Oh, no break on the one plus two throw. Yo, he got him. He's trying to catch him with a 4-4-3 four, four, afterwards here. But he's switching positions right now. He's going to push near the wall. He's going to have to get out of there. Oh, he was ready ducking too. Great movement. Starting to space out so he doesn't have to worry oh! about the elbows as much. That could have been that could have been disastrous. Speaking of disastrous, this wall positioning looking Ooh! a lot better for me. And then he eats the magic four. She can still get you to the other wall. 4-4-2-1. Oh, yeah. She's a special. <laughs> yeah. She's, she, yeah, she's uh, got a specialty of that. And the down 4-3 to close it out gets the mid here. Mm -hmm. Rank two, first round here. Again, this is the final game. And look how the momentum switched. Completely switched. Each round telling a different story. Wrong Chu playing back a little further. Okay, switches positions again. Nice, ducks on the throw, gets the one four. How do you deal with it? The mid option. Mm -hmm. Oh, and switching things up. Uh, using no, every no. trick in the book right now. Mm. Oh, did not catch him. Got the hit, didn't believe. Okay, war jump first hit. And he uses it kind of like on an all purpose low. Speaking of lows, they're adding up. 
There's a jab. Goes for the three plus four. Need something Whoa! big right now. And that's the only way you're going to live. Ten seconds left on the clock. Do you spend it? Because you're on the wall. Uh, uh, Is he oh, dead? Is he dead? dead? Oh, he's alive. alive. Oh! Oh, oh! What's going to happen? Oh, oh he, he blocked, blocked it. it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe oh, it. Oh, my God. What happened there? He had it. He had it. And ranked you able to block and follow up here. Two rounds straight here. He's looking to eliminate me. Oh, big damage. 4 4 3. Yes. That was insane. What a duck. Knee's not done yet, though. He's still fighting. Has to be careful. Has to be careful. Oh, oh, he got him. And that might be it. That should be it. And ranked you. Three rounds straight is moving on. And Knee, unfortunately, eliminated at seventh place here at TWT Finals. Yo, New Orleans, do me a big favor, guys. Can y'all please, please, please remember this is Tekken 7. We're talking about Knee. Make some noise as he is eliminated from the final Tekken 7 Tekken World Tour Tournament. And, of course, congratulations to Rong Chu, who is staying alive. Unfortunately, we lose in one of the GOATs, man, from the bracket. This is... Hey, that's how it goes. This is the last one, baby. <laughs> You got to bring your best, and Rangchu came out on top. Again, he is a defending champ, or he is a champion from previous TWTs, and he is really showing his strength right now, and great stuff to him. Again, Nee, we got to say goodbye, but thank you for all of the amazing Man. memories from Tekken 7. Man, it's going to be bittersweet every time we got to say goodbye every to somebody. Every time, man. Like, I don't think I've ever actually done this before. Where I'm like, we're never going to see this game again. It's like, like we're never going to see it again. But we're moving on to Tekken 8, and this bracket is what is going to take us there. Let's take a look one more time so we can get that next match. As you can see, that <clears> does <throat> set up Lohai versus Rongchu on that loser's quarter side. But also, our next match, Ao versus John Ding. Woo! Yeah, wait, again, the sole representative out of Japan. Ow, he has been playing this game for a very, very long time. I remember him in the tag two days, in the Tekken six days even. Yes. And he's, uh, he ever since he was a very young player, but now a man ready to fulfill his destiny. An established player at this point, man. Like, I've, I always say this, but like, I, re I feel like I remember when he definitely could not even have facial hair. Like, he couldn't grow <laughs> facial hair. And I'm watching this guy play, and now he's here as the final, the soul, the sole representative of Japan. Yeah, he's the final the boss final from Japan. the final TWT yep. Global Finals. That's crazy. Yo, yo, yo. He's going to have his work cut out for him, though. He's going up against John Ding. Not only did he play like a madman yesterday, he's always been Captain Clutch, in my opinion. Yeah, no, that's fast. However, he got the Eddie boost right now. He that, got the that power up. He He's got like, the, I got to get it for Eddie, bro. Job security for the future? <laughs> <laughs> kidding me? It's going to be fun, though. I can't wait to see those guys go at it. Well, we're getting set up here. John Ding. Yeah, man, you're right, though. John Ding, I'm going to tell you right now, that set between him and Atif yesterday, that might be Tore my set down, of the man. tournament, Ooh. bro. I'm telling you right now, it was actually making me scream, bro. I'm telling you right now. Well, speaking of players that make me scream with excitement, Guys, our first player coming to the stage for this lower bracket, please make a warm welcome noise for John Ding. John Ding, let's go. What's he got? He comes up with the Eddie photo. He's so happy. No, He's I so happy. You, my man was giddy. My man was giddy. <laughs> He's hitting the stance already. Banana way. I, I was about to say it too. <laughs> But of course, as you can see right here, uh, I love that his best memory is Rev Major 2 2022. I mean, what more could you ask for? I felt like these last two years for John Ding has been amazing as well. We've seen like his growth to be like this superstar player. I mean, we've seen the growth of Captain Clutch, bro. We saw it our own with our own eyes. Yeah, of course, fourth overall on the global ranking. That's nothing to scoff at. He was most influenced from old school capital player Misty. Yeah. So, man, he is uh, continuing the spirit. But let's go ahead and call the next player out. Well, like I said before, one of the sole, the sole representative of the Tekken Japan scene. Make some noise for the young legend and still going, Ow! Ow. Ow. Did so much work this past year. Yes. Very, very dominant. He ran into a lot of tough matches, but he's persevered and made his way all the way here to the finals. The sole representative in this top eight, as we mentioned, Rocking that Kunimitsu. 14th overall on the global ranking, but really has been playing this game for such a long time since back in the Tekken 6 days. Really representing on the world stage even back then. 
Yeah, I mean, look, around 2005 playing Tekken 5, think about that. There's a lot of people that didn't even play that game. They weren't even around to play that game, you know? But, no, this says a lot about him. I mean, we've been talking about Owl's matches for quite some time and definitely a great representative for Japan. It really does kind of tell the history of, like, where Tekken has been, where it's come from, just knowing how who Owl has played against all the way up until this point and now has the opportunity to get the ultimate cherry on top with a Tekken World Tour final showing. But... You got to get through this loser's side, and John Ding is not going to make it. Guys, easy. again, one of these two players oh will be out God. of the tournament. Oh, my and God. And they're so dude. fun to watch. Both of these players, only one can make it out of here. I don't know which match we're going to see. Because, again, John Ding, one of those players. We know him as the Eddie player, right? Mm -hmm. But he has a he Julia, a very, very strong Julia. I mean, he even has a lucky Chloe. He hasn't say, brought he out Chloe. that Chloe in I a mean, while. the Eddie is what got him here. Think yep. about that. The, yep. All these characters he has in a very strong capacity under his belt and could play them at any time. I mean, the same kind of goes for Al. Definitely like an experience with a lot of the characters. But typically, the Kunimitsu is what's gotten the job done. And it really does accent like his poke-heavy style. Oh, yeah. Where he really does play kind of aggressive, stays in your face, waits for these small whiffs, and kind of like sets and baits the trap. Like a like a young Home Alone trap, yeah, bro. And, like, and, he really sets you up. And at Al's strongest, you know, he's always been synonymous with movement. And Kunimitsu, one of those characters that really complements his play style. Yep. I'm going to go in, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to poke at you, then I'm going to run away. He can do that yeah. with this character, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that he is only going to use this character in this particular matchup. But again, it's on John Ding. What are you going to do? He flashed it. He flashed it too. <laughs> no way. He's playing with. He's playing with his with the crowd's emotions. All right. He's playing with our emotions man, right now. You know how many blind picks we've had in this entire tournament? Yo, my man goes to the Eddie, waits for the crowd. Yo, yo, this is the character that has helped propel him to the world stage time, time and time again, countless times in the past. Again, only the strong, Eddie Gordo. Okay, guys, I have a very important question. If you guys would like Al to take it, make some noise. I like it. I like it. You should ask him, Mark. Ask him about the other guy. This is an easy question because I want to see it too. If you guys want to see Junting take it, make some noise. <laughs> oh, jeez. A little bias, a little bias. A little bias, a little bias. Keep it down out there. Okay, I'm an Eddie guys? player. Come I gotta now. say, man, I use Capo See, there you go. That's what you should have said. That's I, more acceptable. Okay, it, it's it's you know, you, you, it's one of those things you just know. You, you just know. know. Anyways, we're going into this. Oh my God, this stage! Wow, the floors will be breaking. The floors will break. The floor is yours, gentlemen. All right, here we go. They're gonna be going at it. Destruction awaits here in this race to two. Oh, already back two three. We're playing like that. Actually, stuff to set. Damn the slap! How can you slap? <laughs> Great break on the throw. Whoa, he tried to catch him there. That, mm -hmm. If that clipped him, he would have got a full combo. Let's like I said, he likes to set these traps. Okay, relax three instant. And that's a move that Junding is so good with that side step three plus four. That's a crazy evasive hitbox. There mm. it is. Able to land it here. He's going to go downstairs. Yep. Oh, that and he goes for the damage. He goes for the damage. Uh, okay, stop one more time. Damage. One more time. Let me catch you this twice. Fender in the track and slap. I get two of those, right? <laughs> Great option right there. Starts off with the, like a preemptive jab just in case there was an approach. Which is actually pretty good for dealing with, you know, the set dashes that we've seen so far. Oh, oh caught wow. him and downstairs. He's going to capitalize. Goes for the big screw right afterwards. Pushes towards the side wall. Seriously, didn't get a full combo, but it doesn't matter. He has him by the wall. This is where Kunimitsu can be very dangerous. Her ability to counter hit confirm a lot of her attacks. Oh, and not just that. The sweeps come out. Re wall splat right there. Keeps the positioning. Oh. Move the desk. Dead. And, and that's going to hurt again. That is a pure safe attack towards the wall there. Fight. Great for like clearing splat. that space and it like pushes you back as well. It's good. And, you okay. know, and Eddie's not going to sidestep that thing. It's too hard for him. But he got dripped, though. He got mm. dripped, though. Oh, mm. and he caught him again. Here comes John Ding downstairs. What do we see? Back 2-4. Gets the wall. Down 2-3. Capitalize. Oh, wow. Almost running away with it. Oh, try to steal home plate. Big low. Didn't fall for the mid. Oh, man, the sidewalk still breaks the throw, switches position, set three slide, oh, put a block, block on the low, and goes straight back to the spin kicks, man. And that's what I'm talking about. Owl has so much freedom in his ability to flow with these low attacks. 
not just that, he could run and sidestep right away afterwards. Oh, speaking of run, running uh, down 4-2. Uh, he had to adjust there, but again, I, I like that. Relax 1-3, did get some damage off of a mix-up at least. Oh, that could have been big. Oh, looking for a counter hit right there. Oh, 4-4-2, four, four, yes. Big follow-up here. Goes to the low again, and the life lead for Al. Move the disc. Yo, yo, nice. That sidestep people plus four, able to get him away from dangerous reach here. Oh my god, is that gonna hit? Oh, he did it! Oh he my did god, it. that was sick, John D. That and is the like charge right after. level 1,000 planning. The evasiveness, using it in his favor this time. That yo, was sick! That was so good. Oh, oh. and he got him countering. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be big damage. He has the wall as well. He tried to get him with that homing attack. Mm -hmm. And four out of relax. But how can you slap? Finishes the spin. Dude, he did that was so risky. Oh! The oh, second hit! Oh, and he didn't believe. get the combo, he, he wasn't didn't ready. Believe. Oh, power and he went crush. for it. That is such a slow power two. crush. He went for it though, he believed in himself. Oh four, my god, four, another! Two. Another! No way he'll do it again. Watch for the kunai. Set dash, be careful. Blue stuff is there. He's, he's so move, he's so active. Move. Oh Blue my god! Is there. They both went for the range yeah. drive. No. But Kuni Mitsu is a little bit better. A little bit better. Just a little bit. Just a tad. Like a thief in the night. Stole that one away. Damn, I'm salty. Look, I already when I, when I saw Rage Drive on the table. Al likes to do that. He'll circle and he's like, yo, I want you to stay on that wall. He'll use the chip. He'll take the chip option as well. I'll take the chip. I'll take the mix up. Right, I'll take it all. And Kakoma up on the stage talking to John Ding right now. I love that coaching has become so accessible now for a lot of the players because I felt like a lot of times they were just up there dealing, you know, and yo, I'm glad that they talk with players from their region giving them the They're making really a statement cool. right now. They're, they're telling the world that this is a Korean game. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious they got six players here. In our top eight, they're trying to they're trying to take that dub. I mean, they think want about it. it. That's who's gonna that, that's whose name's gonna be written last, yo. That region oh, will yeah. be considered the strongest. I didn't even think about that's that. That's the last one. Those are the regional region. pride, player pride. But we're going to Suk here, right now. Round one. I was up one zero right now. Again, fighting for Japan. Can he do it? Going up against arguably one of the crowd favorites here, Jun Ding. Gets a quarter circle court too. Able to land it here. Beat the relax. Oh, he's, he's mixing things up. The flash oh. hit. Hey, oh, and that's going to guarantee a combo here. Oh, oh keeps it there. Side step two. Oh, gets the counter here. And, and the, the pickup. Pick Let's go. And look at this. Completely clears the stage. Kuna for the tail in. Switches sides. Set dashes to get out of there. John fighting his time right now. Gets oh. hit by the set two. The wall is there. Oh, you're dead. That is a lot of damage. Consistent damage there from Kuni Mitsu. Ow. Continuing the lead here. Fight. Chunding fighting for his tournament life, of course. He has to be very careful how he approaches here. Oh, get the, like, that's one way to do it. Mm. Dry Lots him out. Dry him out. Catching him mid. Catching oh. him with the ducks. Got a punish there. Oh, he oh. caught him out of the air. QCF3. Oh, oh, he missed it. I, doesn't matter. He was able to clean up. But that was very scary. Here we go. Chunding on the scoreboard. One round apiece here in game number two. Back three, three on the interrupt. Full blown counter hit. Oh, yeah. My bro, yikes. He loves this combo. No. Oh, he tried to catch him with the up forward four. Get off of me. But the get up kick, able to put the stop here. This time going for the throw attempt. They reset to neutral. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice option there from Al. Ready for it. Great choice. Trying to stay away from that wall. Rodeo, Ro no. Oh, oh my god. As soon as he tried to get in there, preemptive down forward two, able to get his pushes towards the wall as well. Wall combo. Big damage. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the back two. Get off of me, lady. But he has rage. He has oh, oh, no. He's no. done. Here we go. If there's ever a moment for Judding to come back, it is they now. He needs it now. This is the time. He's going to need it now. They trade. Ow, fighting to move on in the bracket here. John Ding might get eliminated here. He has to be very careful. Gets the, gets the catch. He went, got the jab there from the hand set position. Followed up with the combo here, pushing towards the wall. Defense looking strong. Wow, just walks around. Try to get him again. Wild standing four. Series of pokes right now. About 38 seconds left on the clock. Oh, he finished it. And he gets the follow up. Oh, that could have been worse. John Ding in trouble. Breaks the throw. 27 seconds left. Needs to be weary of the kunai. Yeah, he has to be back, wary back of the three, kunai. Not gonna work. The set two, there's a lot to watch out for in the open. And that's going to be it. That's going to be it. 
John Ding eliminated by Al. Al stays alive in the Tekken World Tour Finals. And a great pop-off right there, but that is going to be the end of the Tekken 7 oh road God. for John Ding. Guys, do me a favor. Make some noise for John Ding. Gotta That's give a good it up. friend of mine, man. That's one of my homies right there. I'm happy to see him doing well out here. I'm happy he got his character back in Tekken 8. Al is going to be the winner here who stays alive and moves on. And, man, heartbreaking goodbyes right now. Heartbreaking I know. goodbyes We're going right to see now. a lot of these. It's just tough to be able to see. But, again, these players have had so many good moments leading up to here. They got here for a reason. So it's nice to see them throughout the year and, again, playing this one final tournament. Yeah, this isn't going to be easy, though. We've already seen, look, some of our favorites have already went home. Let's see exactly who. Yeah, and how, how did we get we here, get Steve? we get an update on the matches as well. As you can see, winner's final is already set up, and that's because Olsan made it out against CBM, took it 2-0. Of course, Arslan Ash with a crazy nail-biting match, 2-1 over Lohai. Going to put both of those guys down on the loser's side. Of course, Rangju takes it 2-1 over Knee. This is the lower bracket, so, of course, Knee went home, and we just saw Al go up against against John Ding, who takes it 2-0. Al moves on to face CBM and Low High versus Rang Chu on the lower side. Oh, yeah. And again, thank you guys for watching and tuning in throughout the entire TWT. Of course, if you guys want more information, we just announced TWT in 2024. But you guys can follow for more information. TekkenWorldTour.com as the information is ready. Of course, follow up on all the different accounts at Tekken, at BNE Esports, and of course on YouTube, where there's the entire history of everything that we've done for the past few years at BNE Esports. So again, check out all that stuff for all the good information. And of course you want to know what happens next. Tekken 8 is what happens next, man. The Premium Collector's Edition is available now. Well, of course, available for pre-order. Available January 26th. Of course, Bandai Namco has hooked it up with this Collector's Edition because as you can see, a 25-centimeter gen statue. We get an arcade token. You get collectible cards. You get a Leroy Smith ring. k -Wiss is really hype about that. And you get the Steel Book, but that also includes the playable character one year past. We know now one of those characters is Eddie, and you get like costume as well as avatar skins so make sure you guys get this now you know it's coming soon and if you love Tekken 7 you know you're gonna love Tekken 8 yeah and if you pre-order now as well you get the 72 hour access to oh, those characters early on yeah. there's a lot more meat to this so you gotta get it you gotta, you gotta get, get it. it you gotta get it don't be crazy don't be lazy on top of that I mean, I can't wait to start playing that game now, man. We're right at the we, end. We're playing soon, baby. We're going to be playing soon. And we just had that sick Tekken Ball tournament. I can't wait for the Tekken Ball tournament, bro. I'm I trying got, to get got, my I run got, back. I got my crown. You know what I'm saying? This is from earlier today. I'm trying to get my I got run my crown. back. See, that's how you know you don't even deserve it. That's how you know you cheated that, man. Anyways. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself, but we're going to take a quick break. Make sure you guys come back and join us for the rest of this top eight bracket for the TWT Global Finals 2023. When I won EVO USA and Japan and in 2019, and then when I won the same thing again in 2023, I think these two are like the best moments for me so far. Two in Japan, the States, baby. Two in Vegas, four EVO titles. The one accomplishment that I would say that I'm most proud of is getting to be sponsored by Red Bull back in 2018. And since that moment, my life had changed completely. And not just within the world of Tekken, but outside of that as well. And I can easily say that without you know, the support of Red Bull, I would not have had the, the memories that I've had and the times that I've had, and I would not be where I am today. The first USA man to win a Masters event in America. Gamers 8, and Nobi and Screen and together in the game, the Screen and え、アナキンのジャックに対して最後デッドリーレイブで試合を決めた瞬間が一番やっぱチーム戦で一番感動して心に残っている瞬間ではあります。はい。So it's hard to pin one down. The game has been out a long time, but the one that is coming to mind is quite recent. I went to Evo Japan in April of 2023. And I actually, before I was planning to travel, I called up my dad. I told him to go to Japan. And he said, you know what, I, I think I have an opportunity to go with you. And we traveled to Japan together and stayed there for like two and a half weeks because of Tekken.
sound like this. I'm done talking, you didn't listen. I'll say it out of with my fist. I'm the attitude of Chester. Let's see if you tough enough to pack up all that stuff, young buster. Buckle when these knuckles touch ya. Hey, don't get fooled by the grave. I don't care what nobody say. Stand in my way, that's where you lay. I don't play, no. Nah.
당연히 제가 이제 TWT, 테크놀트 투어를 하면서 우승을 했던 대회들, 그 순간들 절대 잊혀지지 못할 그런 기억들이 아닐까. So on point with all his deep and Kokoma. My favorite Tekken 7 moment was definitely the 10v10 NA vs Europe exhibition. Hey you, let me hear you! Hey. A big one was when I won Masters League. It was kind of the European Championship back in 2018. I ended up winning that. I was no longer a strong player in Europe. I was among the best in Europe. So, this is the most famous thing to be a pro player. I was a dream 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 player. Man, me and Mark are back here saving every show like these flashback matches. It like hits us even more so that this is the last big TWT Global Final for Tekken 7. And it has been, it is so bittersweet that we're going on to something great and we're still coming from something so amazing. But thank you guys for joining us. This is, like I said, the final Tekken 7 World Tour Global Finals. Thank you guys for joining me and Mark, man, and everybody here at New Orleans. We're in the Civic Theater. This is amazing so far what we've seen live. Let's take a look at the bracket to show you guys how we got here. Okay, and you guys look at this. We have the winner's final. Waiting a little bit later on today, that's going to be Olsan and Arson Ash. But we're going to go back to the loser's bracket where we got Lohai and Rangchu, and of course CBM and Ao. And these players, of course, fighting for the right to be the final champion here for TWT. Oh man, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be amazing, man. We already seen he go home, which is crazy. John Ding went home, which is also crazy. But then that those top matches really set up this loser's quarters. You can see Lohai versus Rangchu. And then, of course, we got CBM versus Al. And then winner's finals all set in stone with Arslan Ash going up against Olsan, which is, like I said, once again, still a historic match that you guys are going to get to see play out with your own eyes. I'm telling you, you're witnessing history right now. Oh, yeah. Good, fun history of of course, we got the players getting ready as we go into the battle. And I don't know, man, Steve, I got to talk to you because during the break, that musical set yo, was so good. Yo, One Shu Okada and Fumi. Yo, can y'all make some noise for the T8 sound team who is here making these breaks so sick? You guys know I love the music, so I'm super hype about it. I saw y'all out there dancing to it as well, man. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. But we get back to this good ass tech. Oh, yeah, as soon as that fountain popped, I was going nuts. Yeah, yo, <laughs> when I came back, Marco was like, yo, that, that fountain popped, though. All right, guys, here we go. You know what? It's question whoa, time. Whoa, whoa, Steve Fox is here. Pop quiz, crowd. If you guys would like Lohai to take it, make some noise. What about the young wrong two? If you like them to take it, make some noise. All right, all right. The young father. Hey, we got a volcano here, too. Oh, look at that. It's looking a little cute. All right, we're going to go into the action here. Of course, we'll, uh, we set the names and the scores. That way you guys can follow at home. There he you gets go. a big down forward. When he misses the combo, that's the first time he's missed it the entire weekend. Down for one. Wow. Well, gets he, the counter hit on the shoulder. That's yep. a full launch. And you can get to the wall. No. Redemption counter hit. I like it. Okay. Okay. But just like that, the speed star of the boxing world, Mr. Steve Fox. Okay. 4-1. Nice. He caught him. Able to get that nice follow-up there with the Sonic Fang. Good sidestep there from Rangchu. Mm -hmm. Definitely looking for a reaction, but not getting it. He's going to have to watch out, too. He already got hit by that counter hit shoulder check early on. That shoulder sidestep is enough to evade a lot of uh, Julian's mm -hmm. pokes as well. So it's going to be one of those things where they try to test each other, try to predict what each other's going to do. Man, look at the spacing right now from Loha and the Steve Fox. Oh, yeah. He is solid. Let's see what he does here. How is Rangchu going to get in? Oh, but a big counter hit. Two. Here we go. Man. He's looking to close it this out. Guy. He should be able to. And just like that, dash in Sonic Bank. Two rounds straight for Lohai. Fight. You know, even though Lohai had that tough loss there in the winner's bracket, he is still fully pumped with that momentum. Here we go, Rangchu now, taking that low parry all the way to the wall. Mm. Big stop, oh. but he miscalculated. Oh, gets the old okie doke on the wall, tries to get a combo follow-up, nothing doing, though. War drum blocked, and just because of that, you know, Steve Fox doesn't have, like, those fast launchers like that, so it's not going to be the easiest. Yeah, he's not going to get a big launcher. 
but he does have the pressure at the wall here, and this is where he specializes. His ability to keep the pokes away and also go for the big counter hit when he needs to. Okay, Oof. back one two at the wall. Went for the rocket launcher. Rank two has to get out of there. Yo, power dunk on the wall. Okay, he has to watch out. Just man. about left on the clock. That Rage drive is two. there. Okay, Bow okay, and, and that should be it. And again, bow and arrow, such a good tool by the wall. Guarantees some additional damage, not just that. The mix-up afterwards is crazy. Okay, okay. That rank two fighting back this time. Opting to duck right in his face. Mm -hmm. And that is a scary place to be if you're fighting against Julia. And the spin, just right in front of his Ooh. face. Yo, the evasiveness right now. Yeah, weaving in and out of traffic here. You get the license plate on that fist. Right. Yo, committing to the lows in a lot of these situations. Not a lot of damage, but it can get annoying. Trying to get you to duck. Actually gets one. Nothing big comes from it, though. Oh, yeah. Look at low height. Chasing down with that down forward, too. Trying to create opportunities for his Steve here. Forcing Ranchu to not commit too heavily to a poke here. Mitigate the options. Okay, that's big. Mm -hmm. That is huge. Guaranteed. Caught him ducking. Had him here, Born and that's a follow-up. Again, 4-4-3, four, four, needs to be careful. Down oh, four, one, his back is to the wall. He has to be careful. He has to be careful. Power dunk, Thank Trey! You. Oh, an instant. And instant. just like that, just like that, the final round here. Game number one. Maybe. I can't stress how big it is oh, here to be able two. to get that lead early on. Shredder kicks. You talked about it right there. I thought the back two was going to hit. Wrong two. Answers oh, he with the shredder kicks. He Not missed. close enough to the wall to get the last hit. And now we go back to the neutral. Low high steel, really close to that wall. Mm. Oh, he caught him here. Went for the first hit. Nice, and look at that. He could have had a bigger punish. Good duck. rope -a downstairs. What's he going to do? Oh, he delayed it. There was no duck. Gets the dunk. Okie doke again. Yo, he's pulling out all the tricks now. Has the wall. Oh. Oh, he, he, he went for the high. And, and look, and that was a follow-up string as well, and that is three rounds to two first game in favor of Rongchu. Oh, yeah. Man, this offense. Oh, what's he going to do? I mean, he has the option to switch characters, but he will be stuck with that character. He's going to have to go two games straight if he wants to move on. Again, this is an elimination match for these guys. Wow. Man. And wrong two All made the that cards, a quick first game. All the cards on the table, baby. What you got? And now, uh-oh. He's thinking, he's thinking, because he's been using that Brian throughout the top eight today. This is him pulling out the Steve. He has to make a decision here. What is he going to take to this final game, potentially? Rank two obviously holding strong here. He's standing up. What's he doing? I'm not sure, actually. But this is a big decision for Lohai. He's at the character select screen. He has to decide which character he's going to try to win two games with because he has to win two straight if he wants to stay alive in this tournament. Yeah, and this is not a good position to be in. Once again, one of these players will be going home. And Rongchu is playing great right now. We talked about how strong it was for just how low high's been playing when we go back to the group stages and just the last leg of the tour for him to even get this spot. So definitely still a very strong contender here, but you got to get through Rongchu. And like I said before, Rongchu has done this where he's been kind of the slept on threat in one of these TWT finals position. What happened that time? He was the champion. He was the champion. He made the switch here, so had to go with the random stage, but he does pick up the Fury. And it's going to be Brian all the way as he tries to go past Rangchu. Let's see if Lohai can do it. All right, here we go. Again, elimination match. If okay. if Rangchu does goes. this, Lohai is out of the tournament. His his dreams of being TWT champion will end here. All right, this is the last chance. The Brian switch is what he's going to going to have to use to get there, too, because he's not going to be able to switch after this one. Yeah, rank two early on, first round in the loser's bracket for for his first round match. He was able to move on. Obviously, he had to face knee right after that. And he already beat one Brian. Can he beat this Brian as well? Oh, the hatchet. Oh, okay, got him with a one-two-one. Sidestep. Once again, this has been so effective. To the wall you go. Oh, spirits give me strength. What can she do? Has a life Man, lead. This is getting oh, like okay, that's punish. one way to do it. Yo, re wall splat, and you got the blue stuff on top of it. Not gonna kill. Not gonna oh, kill. Oh, did he get up? Oh, oh he's not gonna hit. Oh my god. Slow motion Parole. is so good, bro. Parole. Oh. First round, low high. He needed that. He needed oh. to put a band aid on the bleeding, but now he's the one cutting people open. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Big okay, damage. what are you doing? What are you doing? No tech rolls. Okay, keep him there. I like that look and keeps that corner position while standing four. Oh, he caught him. He's dead. He is exploded. And just like that, the momentum has shifted completely. Two rounds straight. 
<laughs> nice jab check here from Lohai, letting him know. Man, look at those blocks. Yeah. Whoa, while standing one, threw it out there, able to land. Really far away on top of that. Still got the launch and the wall. All right, the three hit, the three piece at the wall. Yeah. Down 4 1, finishes the stream. But just like that, Lohai able to fight back. That down 4 1, that Gatling rush. Let's see what he does here. How is he going to fight out here? He's in the corner. Oh, he gets a counter in over the power crush. Got a couple of hits there. Not able to close out. Bro, step bro. Jet upper he, and you're dead. He hit him with that sidestep electric. Sidestep jet upper and you're dead? Okay, okay. He had a read. He knew that was going to come out. And just like that, he has turned the tides of the matchup. We're going to a final game. That was we are going to a final game. Man. Oh, my God. God. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All it took was the character switch sidesteps got a lot more prominent, and it just looked like Rongchu had such a read on what Lohai wanted to do, but the pacing completely switched up towards the end. Saw small, small adjustments to get these big launches, and that gave us another game. Mishima Dojo is where we're going to end this set and send one of these players home. There was a lot of elements that I saw in that matchup. As soon as Lohai was able to block one of the lows and punish with that from Crouch Down for 2-1 and get that splat in that big combo, it kind of sealed away some yep. of the lows. Yep. that Rangchu was using. So again, kind of evening the field in terms of what posts are being able to be used. It's going to be interesting to see how they change it up here in this final game because again, you got to go in. Yeah, you got to go, go in or in. you're out. Damn, that's bars. You got to go in or you're out. All right, let's see what they do. How is this going to continue? Lohai right now. Opting for the pokes, nice side steps in between. Mm -hmm. Look but at this movement from Lohai though. And he has the wall positioning. One, one, one gets the counter hit because of the whip. Hatchet. Yeah, has to be careful here. Again, look at the positioning by the wall. I mean, for Julia, she could probably reach the other side, but if Brian gets a launcher or a counter in here, it could be lights out. Yeah, big damage on the wall is, is definitely on the line. So you really have to be careful here. Oh, finishes this time. Small punish. Nice sidestep. Has to be careful. Oh, low parry. Yo, yo, yo. Back two on the wall just to make sure you're there. Not dead yet. Oh! Finishes the string. Bow and arrow finds his mark. Spins the blue stuff a little chip. Wall pressure is there. Oh, Correct my it God. Rock with the end of the string, and you're still alive. Oh, Jeff. Ah! Wait, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. God. What? Oh, oh, my God. Dude. Dude. Hatchet. Oh that was my crazy. God. Why did that not all hit? What the hell is going on? One, two, one. I, I don't think I've ever seen that low jab exchange like that in slow Dude, motion. That was crazy. Dog. All right, here we go. Another opportunity. Got to shake it off. Okay, now pressuring in good positioning here for Rangchu, but Rangchu with the life deficit, he has to get some more damage in. Oh, great block. Gets the knockdown here, did not believe. Orbital. Oh, that's the round. That is the round. Tied up one round apiece. Round three. Fight. All right, we're here in the dojo. Again, Ooh. second hit, able to land. Hatchet. Chopping away at those legs. Oh, this time a counter hit, back one. Hit. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, what you gonna do? Keep some there again, the sidestep. Uh. Oh, this is looking good for low high. This is looking Punish. really good for low high. Oh, the blue stuff hits. And as soon as, oh my gosh, unscaled 4 4 3. Tries to catch him again. Yo, Range, you still in this. Down oh, he's out of range. Oh my god, he, he finished, finished it. it. The spring up. The ball and arrow, not dead. Makes it whip down one. Ah! Oh ah! my god, a double slow. Oh, sorry, oh Steve, you're right? You're right, my bad boy. You good? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Two rounds to one. Low high. Break. Let's see what happens. How is he going to react to this? Man, this is so much on the line. A big wall standing one, able to beat out the high poke. He's going to push towards the wall here. Doesn't get the wall combo, but a sidestep hop kick. Oh my God, gets the launch. Here comes Ranchu. Look at the carry right here. Uh, uh. And he's pushing all the way to the other side. Nice 4-3 to, to just get the movement. Look at that life lead. Very heavy on the side of Ranchu. He does have the life lead. He needs this nice punish here from Lohai. Pushing towards the wall. Be careful, Ranchu. You mess up here, and it could be lights out. Oh, watch the legs. We saw those bow and arrows start to come out. And this is when he really likes oh, to Oh, is that going to kill? Is that going to no, kill? Oh, you're dead. Final, final round. One of these players is going home, and they will not Oh, they both rally. went for the aerial DJ. attack. Oh, my God, oh my Steve. Oh, my God. These guys are going at it. Tries the patience get, here. Tries to get the sidestep down for one. Not going to do it. 
Giving chase here. And again, that's tried and true. Use that party crasher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Action. Taunt. Realign here. Goes for the low. And again, the party crasher. Coming out with the low parry when he needs it. This is huge because he's going to get the wall here. Now back to the. Uh. And he's not going to. Oh, he finally attacked. Man, Ranchu's life on the line One more right hit can do it, tournament. but he takes his turn back. Oh, the second hit! Oh my god! He tried Go to counter it back. Back one, and that is going to be it. Low high survives. Ranchu goes home. Man, these matches are ridiculous, bro. Man, these matches are ridiculous. We're going to the final, final round. Man, yo, you, yo you, crowd, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Rong Chu is a very, very good friend of mine and one of my good homies. He just had a child. Make some noise for Rong Chu! Thank you, Rang Chu, for all you've done for during, real, uh, man. during the course of Tekken 7. It's been such a pleasure watching him play, but unfortunately, he is out of the tournament. I mean, if you guys only saw what was going on here as we were doing commentary, I feel like Steve and I got into a fight. I was <laughs> pushed up against the wall here. Steve's headset got knocked off when I mid moved my arm up. <laughs> Bro, these games are so crazy. I really hope you guys are enjoying them. And it's like I said, every time we lose a player, it is so bittersweet, man. You know, I'm such a fan of Rong Chu, man. You know, that's one of the reasons I made sure he made it to that combo breaker all those years ago because I needed my friend to be there. And now life has changed for him so much. He's gotten married. He's got a child now. And it's just Tekken 7 changes lives, man. And everybody, I'm happy that you guys are here Not for just it, the dude. players here, but everyone that's watching, everybody that's in the crowd here, yeah. we're going to reunite together for Tekken. Hey, that's real. We got to do it together again. That's real. That's real. Let's take oh. a look at the bracket so far. Of course, we just saw Rong Chu go home. Compliments of Low High 2 1 was the set. That means the loser semifinal. Low High trying to get back to that upper bracket, but still has some matches to go. Osan versus Arslan Ash in the winner's final so far, but we're not there yet. Of course, CBM, the Cherry Berry Mango versus Al, is that next loser's quarters finals match. What do you think, Steve? I mean, looking at this matchup, CBM and Al, CBM obviously. In terms of like just looking at him at the tour, he placed very, very yes. well. He did very, very well in terms of points. Al not as much. However, Al uses a very, very strong meta-defining character yeah. in Kunimitsu that can really control the pace of the match. However, there is something very unique about CBM and the way that he approaches the match, the way that he also breaks down his opponent to kind of limit them from what they can do. Yeah. And if you're going to study against any character, Kunimitsu is one of the characters that you have to study against because there are so many good players so many playing that character. They, no, no, you're definitely right. And this is definitely a matchup that I feel like to make yourself even relevant and stay, you know, prominent in some of these Tekken tournaments, especially in the last year or two, you have to learn how to fight Cooney. Or maybe you just start playing Cooney yourself. She is really that prominent of a character. We've seen how successful she can be. We've seen it come from Arslan Ash and a lot of the other players who have also been doing the exact same. So the situation right now is definitely something that I feel like CBM is, he can handle. He's one of those players that I felt like every time something didn't go his way or he didn't know, he lapped it. He goes he to the yes, lap. Yes. And after that, you no longer can use it against and, him. And that is one of the benefits of the global tour and his ability to be able to go out there and test his metal, test his theory and put it to test. And again, it's nice to see this and we've been treated to this over the past few years. There is so much that is happening. Either way, we are getting ready for this matchup. Steve, I am hyped for this. Again, one of these players, CBM are out. One of them will be eliminated after this. Look, man, this is going to be scary. All right, crowd, I got to ask you guys the hard questions. If you would like Cherry Berry Mango to take the set and stay alive, make some noise. Oh, they like the Noctis? They like the Noctis. Y'all messing with the FF15? Okay, okay, all right. But if you would like the young legend Al to take it, make some noise out there, New Orleans. Mm, seems like they're leaning on Cherry Berry Mango right. a little bit. Round one. All right, here we go. Game one, round one. We say goodbye to another player. It's either CBM or it's Al. All right, these guys finding out early on here. Nice, goes for the 4-2. Both of these characters having special projectile, well, not really projectile, weapon attacks. They also have a bit of a projectile as well. Mm -hmm. But early on, gets the big launch here, gets the wall, goes for the emo and blue stuff. Oh, wow. Try to catch him. He always likes to test players by the wall with that down yeah. four one kick string. Because he knows he also, he already has that installed fear of like not crouching and not trying to sidestep. He really does do a good job of controlling your space. Go the lows that down back three series so good it can really kind of get you back into the game in terms of the momentum. Okay, 
Ooh. Nice, big set two. Yeah, big counter hit on top of it. Oh, he goes for a safer version of the combo. Mm -hmm, but it gives him this carry, though. Yeah, and the wall. Look wall at this damage. damage. Look at that damage. Down four, actually blocks it correctly. Al fighting back. Excuse me, CBM fighting back. Low parry on the wall this time. And the side wall stun, what adjustment are we going to see? Nothing. Breaks the throw. Cooney does have the life lead here, but CBM has good positioning by the wall. If he gets a big hit here, it could be curtains here for Ow. Has to be careful either way. They're circling each other. And there's the kicks. Oh, he had the kicks on the one, two, but didn't finish. Doesn't matter. Tie it up on rounds. And look how he staggered that offense to freeze him up on the wall. I like what I saw from Al right there. He really is good at taking that momentum back and, like, kind of just making sure you don't feel like the round is already over. Already in contention. Great play. Oh, and look at that. Now he's already showing some of his, his, his strats there. That big stab there, that big counter hit stab, using it after the shadow slash as well. See what he does. Here comes Al. Big opportunity. Keeps him at the wall. This is huge. Oh my god, what a block there Didn't from CBM. It. Had the hit early on and could have actually finished it. Fire gun. Uh oh, right. hold on. What's the mix up? Nice roll. Set two. So there's a number of things that Noctis can do to react, but another two. He got the big sweep blocked earlier on. He wasn't afraid to do it again. And that is why Al is such a crazy player. Full cross down 4 3. Big sweep right there. Definitely a tool that you see a lot of Kuni Mitsu's use, obviously. Oh, great punish there. He was ready. He has him at the wall. Uh-oh, be careful. Don't get bopped. The spins, bro. The spins. Looking for a duck on the wall. Still not going to get it. Avoids the throw. Down back three. Emo man gets uh -oh. the bolt out of the corner. Move uh -oh. the desk. Oh, the desk is going downstairs? No. no. The follow-up here. Two rounds to one. Again, Ow looking to close out this opening game. Can he do it? CBM has rage. Mmm. Set three with the slot. Ow, looking in control right now with this first game under his belt. Once again, one of these players are going home. Yeah, and Al again, no stranger to the biggest stages. But again, he is fighting here for his tournament life. Sometimes that clutch comes into play, and you really see which players can handle it the most. All right, what's he doing? He, he's at the character select screen. Wow, Olsan on the stage talking to CVM. Didn't these guys just play each other? I know. Right? It's crazy. I mean, they are teammates. <laughs> yeah, they had the battle early on. But again, you get into this position, maybe one of those things. I'd rather see you in the finals versus someone else. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Olsan, a great coach to have. Like I said before, definitely been one of the strongest players out there from the same region, representing Tekken 7 for quite some time. So having him in your corner, giving you uh, some, some words of confidence is a great, great plan to have. Yeah, I wonder what he's going to do in terms of how to get in, because Al has been very controlling of the match. He was not able to really do Noctis things, things that he's been able to do in some other particular matchups, right? No, that's facts. It is true. There, there's a, a, a lot that we haven't seen, because, you know, when he tries to take control offensively, he'll do it by chopping low, right? Yep. He goes for that low kick. He goes for the down two. He tries to test his opponent, but he hasn't been able to really employ that in the matchup as he goes uh, up against Al here. Anyways, we are going into the geometric plane here. It looks like he's sticking to Noctis, of course. I did not expect a character change. I, I really didn't either. I mean, but he was one of my favorite gens for a very long time. For a very long time. That, uh, that yeah, all you gen players are, like, connected. I'm, I'm just saying, man, I always miss the gen, bro. When that character, when my boys leave gen, I'm like, come on now. No more, no more electrics. No more savage sword. Aw. But it's okay. Kazamas are not forgotten. Yo. They live on with Steve. Hey, dang. 4GK, the bars, baby. They don't the know bars. it. Here we go. Starting it off. Side step two. Here comes Ow. Ow is really going in with the movement, going in with the pokes. Oh, but a thanks. low parry. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get my turn back. CBM trying to cash in. Really late tip. Tailspin right there. And gets the wall because of it. All right. And just like that, Ow was able to tech roll and get out of the way. Now putting CBM into a really bad position. But the shadow step again the follow-up here He does have the life lead he can play now. Let's see what he does How will he take advantage? And that's one thing that we did not yep. see in the opening yep. game. We did not, he we was not twice now he, he, he didn't have MP early on. Is no, that what it is? No MP bro. He kept using it on the oh, Thunder, bro. All right this time Starting to remember a lot of his attacks that he wants to utilize and look he's already making it work Look Ooh. the blender is Ooh. here the one he ordered he got the prime Oh, but he got him looking on the back turn one plus two. And modified combos once again. He wants the position. He wants the wall. 
Oh, but he missed the follow up with the back one. And look at this. He has him at the wall here. Great duck, but he could have got a launch there. The blue stuff CBM. Yo, CBM is not trying to cash out now. Whatever Olsan told him, gave him two rounds in like 10 seconds. That was crazy. He probably told him, hey, bro, you got more than three moves. Right? Because, <laughs> again, things are starting to work out. Can't okay, right now he has the wall here, but he dropped the wall opportunity for the combo again. But here comes CBM. Nice block there at the low kick. Okay. Wow, this wall is really keeping CBM locked down. Another chance here, Muda Des. Spans Ain't no thing. We all Ain't no kicks. thing. And look at that owl back on the scoreboard. Round Two rounds to one here. Fight. And it, it really can go either way. Oh my oh god, my what a win point. At the beginning of the round, to the wall you go. Uh, emo man, big damage, 50%. And the shield bash. Oh, oh my god, yo, 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 he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to kill him! And Without the perfect. perfect seven golden? Yo, what did Olsan tell him? Yo, we, we we have to find out later. We'll find out later. I'm definitely gonna ask. Inquiring minds must know. What I mean, Al, I'm, I don't think Al's gonna change. Obviously, he could use a number yeah. of characters. He has used a number of characters throughout Tekken Seven, but Kuni Mitsu is that character that he's been using. But why is he at the character selection? Tell me this. I mean, let's see. And once it, again, it, the final match again. This, whoever loses this, they're out. They're out. It's Dunzo. I'm not sure who's talking to Al over there, but if, I feel like he's talking to somebody. He's talking to himself. That's how strong he is. Yo. <laughs> Give yourself a pep talk. Make things happen. He's just talking to him. He looks off camera to talk to himself. You know you're godlike, right? Yeah, I am godlike. I got this. So this man. How are we going to do this? How is Kuni, Mitsu, and Al going to make it out? Oh, it's Chikrin. Shout out to Chikrin. 2019 T2T champion. Offering some words of advice there. Another ridiculous player that. Oh yeah. Tried in this tournament, you know. Think hey, about that. Hey Steve, I wasn't gonna say, but I don't want to jinx it yet. But we haven't seen Akuma. We haven't seen Geese. Bruh. We haven't seen 2D yet. Well, I don't know, man. If you paid attention to the story, man, it's they're not even supposed to be there, man. They're not even supposed to be there. It's Kazumi's fault, man. Everybody's mad Let's at the wrong person. Bang. Everybody's mad at the wrong Grandma, person. Grandma, why, why'd you it do this? It was Kazumi, bro. She did that. She bought Akuma here and Geese, bro. Think about that. Man, those uh, those character announcement trailers when those guys first showed up were crazy. I don't think people even understand how ridiculous it is that you had a working Geese <laughs> and a 3D fighter where he still had Raging Storm, Neo Deadly Rave. He got added moves to it. He had Max Mode, and then you had uh, Akuma, who everybody didn't even understand. Like, yo, man, that character's easy. Had some flashy combos, added fireballs to the game, added meters to the game, and to both of those characters are so well implemented. All the guest characters, Negan, all of them, they are sick, bro. The way that they've implemented, the voice actors attached to it, and, I mean, that's kind of carried over to Tekken 8 with Victor and his, and his voice actor. And then the story update that we just saw from Tekken 8, like, it carries over in the best way possible but someone is not going to be carried over to the rest of this bracket somebody's going home someone's getting carried out on the stretcher right <laughs> call an ambulance but not for me <laughs> but not for me here we go guys vermilion gates i love this stage man look at the details on the cooney mask too all right here we go last match between these two one of the players is going home side step two this time on a whip has to be careful cbm was ready to react he's already man he's been using his mp quite oh, a bit wow. the trade nets him a nice positive at the wall here emo man what's the mix all right that goes to the low again this time counter hit from Ao. how can he capitalize here his life deficit pushes towards the wall again good spot to be you got to be careful though oh my gosh yo he is trying to cook with the lightning oh, bro, with the lightning and hit him again after the bell oh shadow scissors that's a big counter hit you're going to the wall okay oh, no but, he but the drop but the string finishes it tries to go for it down four two not gonna work out he, that is so fortunate for him because he has the positioning still oh but the big low parry side step realigned he doesn't want the side wall stun in this situation right now for al is not the best gets the balcony break what a combo on top of that oh he missed that wait wait he didn't get no follow-up there let's see he's in rage let's see what he does goes to the low this is huge Great pressure right here. Ooh, the back turn. Nice block, but didn't expect the finish on the string. This is the last chance for Al to turn this around, or he might be out of this tournament. Again, whatever Ulsan said has changed things with CBM. CBM is playing 
much differently, and he's making things work. He has a life lead here. The oh my God, he, he's he's turning it up. Oh, get the oh, this is huge. This look is huge. This damage. is huge. Oh my God, do you spin it now though? He has to do something. Oh my God, he has to be careful. And that's going to be it. The full crouch down for two. CBM stays. Ow, goes home. Oh my God, man. The crowd cheering for CBM. But everybody, we got to give our love. We got to give our flowers to Al for representing Japan. But not only that, being one of the Tekken yes, greats. Yes. So again, Al, thank you for all of the years of Tekken 7. Yes, man. It has been such a pleasure just to see him play. I mean, not only this game, we saw him in Tag 2. I've been a big fan of him for quite some time. It was amazing to have him up in that San Francisco for the actual ICFC oh, final. Yeah, he ended Got up to hang that. out a little bit. I saw him eat that sandwich. He definitely looked like he couldn't even handle it. His hands were trembling. But even more so, I just want to say thanks to Al and all the other players as well, man. It has been such an honor to call these matches, see these matches, and one more going home, man. Bittersweet once again. Let's look at the brackets, and we are getting closer and closer to the final few players. So now Al is out of the tournament. CBM moves on. We are down to our final four. Oh, man. Loser semifinal. Coming up. CBM, low high. It's been cashed. Al going down to CBM 2-1. But if you look at the sets, they've been pretty crazy, man. Wrong Chu 2-1. Al 2-0. 2-1 for CBM, 2-1 for Lohai over Rang Chu. Man, these have been great games overall. Yeah, and then of course we have the winner's final that's going to be coming up as well. A very much anticipated matchup between Ulsan and Arslan Ash. And I, I cannot wait to see how that is going to happen. What are they going to do going into this? Because again, these guys have clashed in the past. And I feel like the more that you lose, the more that you learn, the more that you have to bring to the table in the rematch. So all eyes on Ulsan. How is he going to overcome the one of the most dominant, if not the most dominant Tekken player of all time? I mean, you can't even take that away from him. I mean, I feel like I, I told everybody, I'm like, man, this is like we had a brand new region introduced yeah. to the world It's of a Tekken. brand new game, man. It's a brand new game now. The play styles, and I tell people, like, there's like a, a sliding scale of play styles for Tekken around the world, and Pakistan style is definitely there, and a prominent one of yeah. that that you have to recognize think, as one of the game changers. Think of how crazy it's been since the Pakistani players have stepped to the scene. Players have gone out to their region yes. to learn how to play their style, to learn how to play their game, just to be able to hang with them. I mean, I remember when Chikrin went in and took that trip over to, like, Pakistan. I mean, I think Nee was over there for some time as well. Lots of players. I think Kokoma went just over recently there. went and over there. And, like, literally, that's how you know that this is something that you have to be experienced with. We talk about matchups and how the meta changes. We we'll just think about an entire region adding to a meta to a fighting game, especially one like Tekken and having to adjust around that. And they still so much more dominant. Well, lots of talking here, but we want to get back to the action, and we're going to our winner's finals match, so I hope you guys are ready for our first contender coming out, Ulsan. I'm excited. Of course, you can see Ulsan second place on the global rankings, hailing from South Korea. Started playing in 2015, has a lot of influence in terms of the players that he looked up to and who he played with, me and Gura, and of course, uh, his best memory, that 2019 final, where he got second yeah. place. He doesn't want that second place. He wants that first place. He's coming for the first place, man. And I, I like the fact that, like, he's evolved over time to tell, like, yo, bro, I just want to win, man. I want to win, so I don't care what character it takes. But speaking of winning, and a lot of it has been done by this guy right here, Arslan Ash in the winner's finals here will be having a shot to get to the grand finals alongside Osan, but it will not be easy, but it will be exciting. <laughs> In my opinion, this guy is the most impactful player yes. that has yes. stepped into the Tekken scene, and inshallah, we will be able to see him for many, many more years and iterations of this game. I can't wait to see how this is going to play out, because again, these are two of the hottest players in the Tekken global scene, and they're going to clash right now. This is a race to three. Race to three, winner gets a seat in the grand finals. Oh, man. Well... I think I should ask the crowd now while everybody's paying attention. If you guys would like the young Olsan to take it, make some noise out there, New Orleans. Oh, that's a good response. However, sitting on the other side, a champion in his own right, a champion of Tekken and Pakistan. If you would like Arslan Ash to take it, make some noise, New Orleans. That is uh, Bro, quite two, the cheering two section. Two flags out there. 
All right, guys. This is going to be... See, we were saving different energy reserves. Yeah. And I was saving an energy tank for this one. How are we going to do this? So the thing is, is I feel like Olsen has been in this position so many times yep. to fight characters, players at this caliber at such a high level that he's kind of bred for this at this point. Like, he's had to fight so many other strong players to even get to this point, and now... He's got the opportunity to put himself in grand finals, have a seat there, and watch the chaos kind of unfold around him. But Arslan Ash wants that chair no matter what. Yeah, he just wants to be there. Again, this is a race to three. So for whoever wins three games first will be able to move on into the grand finals. And need I remind you, this is number one and number two on the leaderboard. Yeah. These are the two best players on the tour. Remember how much, remember how many points Arslan Ash had going into, people understood how buff he was just by the fact that he had a billion points. Okay, let's come down to this. These guys are ready to go. I don't know who we're gonna see. Is it Kazumi? Is it Bob? Who are we gonna see as we get into this? As we get down into the big match that's coming up here. Winners finals. Oh man, this is gonna be a doozy. Here we go as we get into it. Remember, this is a race to three. Winners finals coming up here for the last Tekken oh. 7 World Tournament. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. So bittersweet. He's got the bob. Yo, is, is Bob invited to the cookout? Bob, look, do you see the swag my man has on, bro? Of course he's invited to the he cookout. Stole, he stole that outfit. <laughs> he said the he one on this outfit. panel. On this panel, he stole that outfit from you. Bro, I'm, this is definitely a Steve-esque outfit. I remember I paid homage to him when I was rocking. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, bro, that's it right there. <laughs> I thought he was going to pick the clown one, you know. I hate, I man, I hate that outfit so much. But here we go. Thief at your service. I'm trying to steal it. Well, she is definitely out here to steal some parts. Can she do it right now? Ulsan, the, I, I talked about this throughout the entire weekend. He plays at a different speed mm -hmm. for a lot of these characters. I'm telling you, man. I don't know what the abbreviation is, but it's not words per minute. Axis I'm, per minute. Like, APM, baby. Ax, APM, axis per minute. That's a good one. 442. Here we go. Oh, the nice. up gets the 442 again and again. Didn't roll. This momentum so heavy wow. in favor. That was standing three, able to get the launch here, looking to close things out, and he gets it. Arson Ash drawing first blood here in this set. This long set. Fight. Here we go. Playing the runaway game early on. How is Olsan gonna get in? This is, I think, the biggest question. And, and how is he gonna break down Arson's impeccable defense? Oh, wow. Really starting to sprinkle that offense. And then a lot of these are going to be checks and tests. Gets the flow. Arson Ash is going to have a lot of answers. Gets the wall. Big damage. Okay, down three plus four. Keeping the pressure of the wall. The beatdown punch. Oh, four crowd down four three. Those three sweeps, so they're going to be coming out. Those a lot of the momentum shift has been when Arson lands a big low. Big lower. He gets a read here. Single jabs. Twenty seconds left. Wow. Five left on the clock. The new hop kick, and that should be the round old sign. Yo, he hit him with that new Jack City, that up forward four. Got the big combo there, tied up on rounds. The set dash into the two. Okay, get off. Oh, to mm. the back, and that's, whoa! He, and only Kuti Mitsu, like so a thief small, in the bro. night. She's so small, look at that, huh? Look at the damage from that. I can't believe she got away with that. Oh, well, if you need a thief, I know your somebody. woman. All right, here we go. Now with the rage, goes oh. to the grab. Wow. Okay, instantaneous break there from Arsenal Ash. Two routes to one here. Looking to close out this opening game. Can he do it? Set two. Beat down. Oh, down 4-2. Not going to be a counter hit. Yeah, Bob has so many tools, but a lot of his tools are best used as if he's able to get the big counter hit. But can he pull it off? That's the thing. Arsenal is already chopping away. Oh my that. gosh. All right, gets the pick up here, the flip, and more pressure. Didn't want to test. Oh, oh wow. Wow, How she got he... off access because, oh my gosh. That was crazy. Got to be careful. This pressure on the wall. Single jab there. Backswing blow. That was great. Oh, oh my careful. gosh. The chase down. Watch the legs. He has a sliver. He has a sliver. Oh, went for backswing blow again. Arslan says no. Just a small dash forward into down forward one. That way, if you did do a side step, you still would have realigned. And the backswing blow just slow enough to get caught by the down forward one. All right, you got to think about this. Hulsan, test number one. Tried the bob. Didn't work. 
in the longer set, you have the ability to be able to kind of, you know, throw away the first match, make an adjustment, because he can switch characters here, and he's not locked into that character yet. Not locked into that character yet. But do you go to Kasumi versus Arslan Ash? Why not? When has Arslan fought against a world-class Kasumi? We've not seen it on the world stage, at least. You're right, you're right. Oh, and, and Daniel Otto Mato. stepping up. What? Hey, look, I'm going to tell you right now. The Italian Stallion? The Italian Stallion Daniel Motto has been on quite the world tour this self of he's had He's had some crazy tour spots, but he's also had some crazy results. Not a bad coach to have in your corner. Oh, yeah. And these guys have definitely become this, a lot closer. This is a very much a part of the global nature of yes. what the TWT is. Look at this. A player from Italy who was right? under the tutelage of a player from Japan in Tishuman talking to a friend from Korea and giving him advice in what could be the biggest matchup of his tournament career. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy. That's crazy. Think about it. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Shout out to Tishuman, of course. Yo, shout out to the legend Tishuman. Okay, he switched to Kazumi. That, that's crazy, man. The Kazumi versus Arslan. I mean, you are that nice. You are yeah. that nice. But you got to be nice for three games straight, bro. Yeah. Can you do it? Can you do it and keep your opponent from adjusting? That's the real test. All right, here we go. Diomo de Serio. I feel like that was influenced by Daniel Mato being out there. We, you guys sent to Italy now? Yo, I'm just saying, man. Anyways, we're going to go into this. This is a big change switch here from Ulsan. Ulsan trying to use his, his old main character, Kazumi, against Arsene Ash, who has so much history with this character as well. But well, let's see how Kunimitsu can deal with the high-paced, high-speed action of Ulsan. Okay, Shining Fist combo pushing towards the edge of the stage. Okay. This wall positioning is not the best, especially for against a player like Ulsan. Trying to catch him there, didn't fall for the last hit. Get off of me. Great break. Wow. Power crush. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, and standing jabs, keeping him honest on the wall. Goes to the low. They're both about even. Mm -hmm. But again, the positioning is everything. You got to be careful. And that's a lot of, I mean, when you chip away with Kazumi and the way that kind of Ulsan's using that, that's a lot of lows to be able to get him to break. I mean, I really just like Kazumi in this matchup because, one, you really get to kind of keep a closer look on Kazumi, on, on uh, Kunimitsu. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and Magician's you four. Yo, yo, he might be dead. Uh, he might be dead. Two. He should be dead. Down two. That magic four made all the difference. Okay. Block on the back turn spin again. Oh. He tried to thread the needle there with the running one. Arsene Ash ready gets the launch of the down four two. Lots of blocks done on the wall. This offense from Arsene Ash picking up. What a duck while standing 4 4. Stature kick on top of it. Finishes Ooh. the Shining Fist combo. And they are scrambling on the wall right now. Oh, he's oh. back there. Oh, the fight back. Axis. And he has rage. Blue stuff. Right there for Kasumi. And the Tiger not by her side goes for the low. We've been seeing that a lot where players are starting to stuff that rage drive on yeah. startup, especially using the lows to do so. That's so good. Yeah, the interrupt. Try to get him with the Tiger. Unable to do it. Tied up on rounds here in very important game number two. Try to set the, the, the tone here. Oh, but the big heel drop. Going to do a lot of damage here. Has the wall. Big damage. Power crush not going to work out. Arsene oh. takes the opportunity. And Olsan with a big mistake. Big launcher right here for Arsene. Ash gets the break. And look at the look how far you're going across the stage already. Oh. Almost go to the other wall. Almost had the full carry. Doesn't matter here. Now keeping that pressure. Has the life lead. How is Olsan going to deal with this? He's in the corner. Oh, went for a good punish there on the back too. A sliver. What are you going to do? How are you going to deal with it? Oh, what a step! Oh, what a side step! And the blue step! That would have been game over no matter what. It would have had the yeah, chip. cut the chip damage. Frosted Good stuff. Flakes. A tiger by my side. They're great. Okay, what are we going to do here? Nice shiny fist combo once again. Both of these players jockeying for that position. Pulls on with the round lead. Second hit, gets the punish. Mm -hmm. While standing 1-1. One, one. Okay, didn't fall for it. Oh, oh, the art of the interrupting down for it, too. And the wall on top of that big damage here for Arslan. Wait, wait. Keeps him there. Goes to the low. Finishes the string. Okay. Nice it's the duck. He was ready. Kunai not going to work. 
Full cross down for a three. The spinning. Oh, Did oh, it fall oh, for it? Oh my the, god, the delay. The string. Oh my god. No. He, what the he duck? ducked. He flash ducked. He was able to get it. Final round here. Huge round. I cannot say this anymore. This is a huge round. Game two, bro. Arslan Ash already has one game on the board. Two rounds and one more. He's going to have two games. This is a race to three. And right now, Arslan is looking in control. Ooh, what oh, what a oh stock. He gets the wall standing three, the wall, the position here. He's going to do a little bit of damage. But what's he going to do? Oh, my God. He caught him. These ducks starting to add up, too. Arslan. Down one, two on the back turn state. Again oh. with the mid. Yo, the stagger's on the wall. He'll this time, on opening the wall him up. Let's go. Gonna need this series. Goes back to the lows, tries to go for a hop kick. Not gonna work out. Oh, side switch. Full out of range. Oh my god, the set pressure. 13 seconds left on the clock, Mark. 10 seconds to go. Let's see what they do. Oh, oh and he beat it out. One. He beat oh it out. Oh my god, running one. And he's asking the crowd for it. He's asking the crowd for it. He didn't even have to say it. He just wanted them to make that noise. The running one. Man, I, have to, I gotta start doing that. He just did the hand thing and they made the noise. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, you save a lot of your energy that <laughs> way, bro. I feel like you have to run out there, though. They don't see you they back here. They have to see the hand. They gotta pop out. That was, that was so clutch. One game apiece here. That running this one. this winner's oh. finals, bro. Oh, my gosh. Yo, we got some space. Yo, infinite azure. Wow. Yo, crowd, I'm counting on y'all to hit the drop with me this time, all right? We got to do it together for the one time. The one time, Possibly baby. for the last time. Y'all got to remember. Yeah, and hopefully uh, Harada-san doesn't yell at you. Right? He'd have to come down here and stop me. <laughs> Watch, he does. <laughs> right? He's going to stand right off camera. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Nice down forward one. Poke the approach here. Again, we're in the open stage. Just the classic. Man, there are no more open stages in Tekken. Yeah, this might be the last dude, time we see wow. one of these. 2-2 two, two right there, poking back and forth. Okay, gonna get the 1-2-2. Two, two. Oh, and the second hit, all right, all right, good chase. And gets a little bit of extra chip there with the Tiger. Set three, gets the slide, they trade. No combos for either, oh. full crouch block. That was a big block. Yep. The confidence here from young Ulsan has the reflexes, gets that first round. And just like that, he's the first lead for him. They are fighting back and forth, I know that. Really trying to get a reaction out. Oh, he got him with the sidestep. Man, the consistency hitting with these lows. Oh, oh my got god, it. the damage. Full no. crouch down 4 3 again. Yo, that big stomp. The tiger driver. Oh, could have ended it right there. Single jabs. Stops the approach. Needs to be careful. Down four. Anything's gonna do it. Harada doesn't care that much. You use your five points of extra life. You don't have any more. Another round spread right here. One game, one round apiece. Oh my gosh. Damn, down three is the power crush. Going back the other way. Again, it's now they're starting to open each other up. Going for these lows. Mixing up the timing. Again, the statures. Everything's coming out. Let's see what he does. About even on life. Arson. Play much more defensively mm -hmm. now. And this is not like the Arsenal we know. Typically a lot more evasive. He knows what he's going up yeah. against. He's going up against a, a kid with crazy reflexes. How's he going to deal? Interrupt. Look at the, look at the life bars. They're so close. Jab. Well, watch out now. Arsenal the rain drive is in play. The blue stuff is there. 2-2 Two -two tried to make something happen. Gets the counter hit. No break on the, the throw. It just sprinkles it in. Wow. Just sprinkles it in. How While you're worried about the strikes, I'm going to throw you. He got away with murder there. Oh, Two yeah. rounds to one here. Steve, you ready? Uh, I'm going to let you do it. Let's go. All right, gets it. Gets the follow-up here. Ulsan having to deal with this round deficit now. Mm. Nice duck. While sending one-two yeah. gets the knockdown. And now can continue some of the offense. He does have the light life lead. Slide with the set three. Again, such a methodical poke heavy game between these two. Mm. Neither player wanting to take huge risks. You're not going to see a lot of launches here. That's how you know the games get good. There's no combos, they're just pokes. Good. Able to get right out of it. Timer. Oh, he tried to whip punish with that knee. 15 seconds left. Tries to go for the mid to get the launch. Back two. Okay. 
Eight seconds Again with the power left. punch. He's done that sequence twice now, mm -hmm. and he cashed them in. Both of them work. Final round here, one apiece. Captain the sidestep on top of it. Goes for the spin, not gonna work out, one, two, two. Yo, he's definitely brought some, some of this stuff that he's been studying and labbing. Oh, Ooh. and another big block on the sweep. Mm, 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 but you gotta mm. respect Arsene for going for it. He has to find a way to break down Olsan. He went for the power crush once again there, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. No, go play again. Gonna throw this again. is so crazy that he's gotten thrown twice like that. Oh, one, but look, it, he's on the verge of taking this game. Oh, the spins. The okay, okay, he's pushing back. Let's see what it is again with the down three. He's gonna have to watch out. He Perfect wins. spacing. He wins. Olsan asking the crowd for more. This is a race to three, and Olsan is asking for more. He is able to get into the lead versus Arslan Ash. Korea versus Pakistan happening right now. Atif. Wow, bro. Going the, up to the stage. The fact that we get Atif coming up and actually giving Arslan help is crazy. And Daniel Motto back on the stage. Oh, my God. Olsan has the lead right now. Two games to one in this race to three. Crowd, how you guys feeling? You guys good? Y'all y'all good? Y'all enjoying this good ass Tekken or what? Make some noise for me out there. I want to know y'all still with me, yeah? I see you guys out I there. I see you, New Orleans. I see you. I see you. Where's Bob? That's a good question. He didn't work early he on. He did not work. He's, he's actually off the clock right now. I was going to respond to him the only way I know how. <laughs> Don't ask. Oh, yeah. Don't ask. Harada just swings down from the Raptors, <laughs> takes the sign. All right, all right. Looks like these guys are getting ready. The coach is putting in as much work as they can in between. Two of the fighters, again, fighting for the coveted grand final spot here. Remember, this the is gets side. you in the chair. This doesn't get you the victory. This gets you in the chair to victory. Yo, and that's a nice chair. It's that's a, a comfortable nice chair. chair. But again, you can't get too comfortable because you got to win till the very end. Anyways, we are going into the next game. Arsene, whatever character he picked, he is locked into that character. So let's see what happens here. He Kunimitsu. is sticking to Kunimitsu. He has picked the open stage. He wants the space. I like it. And it's like I said, I think it's really hard for Kasumi, uh, I mean, for Kunimitsu to actually get away from Kasumi. I mean, the down four one is so good. Statue kick. She has a lot of long reaching moves. And I really like the fact that we're seeing the full crouch three coming from Olsan as well. Just giving small chases so you cannot get that space, not build that distance, and make your own approach on the way back in. But here we go. I'm going to challenge and say I feel like the way that Olsan is playing, it doesn't matter if he's in an open stage or a closed mm -hmm. stage. He is fighting up close in your face. He's not even getting these launches. But if he does, he will take advantage of it, right? He is playing pure footsies, pure fundamental. And whoa, whoa, he's going for the big lows now. So one, two to stop the run forward. Great oh. punish. Nice wall standing three. Here comes Arson. He gets a big combo here. Side step two, follow up there with the guaranteed follow up. And look at this, this lead that Arson has right now. Early usage on the rage drive. Sometimes it's good just to take that space. Mm -hmm. You've seen a lot of people start to do that, where they just use it to take back their momentum. Maybe stop somebody else. There's 14 seconds left on the clock. Arson has access to rage drive now. Oh, four, he's four, gonna two. get it. Then the follow-up, the big sweep. I can't believe he's still so confident in his sweep after getting it blocked right? twice in that last game. Not afraid to use it. And that's how you know he's such a good player. He believes in himself. But of course, that, that timing where he pulled it out, he just pulled it out of nowhere. Let's see what he's going to do here again right now. Ulsan with the life lead again. We've seen this more often than not in the last few rounds is early on Ulsan will get to the lead and Arsene is going to force some pressure here. Okay, okay. Oh, the down back too. We're starting to see more Power variety nice. from nope. the lows. Great. Put, put, he put the brakes on there. Oh, my God. Look at Ulsan. Hold look at Ulsan. Ulsan with this momentum and once Second. again finishing the down 4-1-2. Yo, he is playing the game outside the game right now. He is doing things that people would not expect, mm -hmm. but he's making them count. And sometimes when you're such a good player, you're not going to be able to react to things that you're not used to. Mm -hmm. And finishing strings, really calling out the options. The power, power crush. crush. Yo, he's 
We all know that is not one of the best it's power not, crushes in the game, not. but he's making it work in this particular sequence. Which is great because you talked about how Kazu uh, Kunimitsu, I always want to say Kazumi first, Kunimitsu has changed the meta, and I love the fact that we've seen these adjustments from Olsan. Once again, letting the down for one, two rockets floated out, and now Arson has a chance, but he's got quite a route to go. 28 seconds left. Oh, man, that could have been big. Oh, he got four, it four, again, two. but not he's not dead. dead, not dead. Mid. Oh, the poke. Karata cares. Oh, the jab. Arslan Ash is still in there. That was still in there. Such a risky but crazy sequence. Arslan Ash was like the only one that could pull that off. You gotta believe. <laughs> nice while standing for instantly able to pull it off. And look at that again. Ulsan with the lead here. Starting off with the pokes early on. Has the life lead. Oh, but he oh got him with God. the counter hit. And it's a counter hit on top of it. He predicted the poke and Arsenal with the teleport kick into the launch. And of course he's not going to give up. He knows. And Arsenal Ash ties the set. Two games apiece. And Yo. there's the Pakistan flag in the crowd. I saw two of those bad boys. I Look saw two it. of those bad boys. That's crazy. We are going to a pivotal final match. Final game. To figure out who gets, oh my God, this who, is great. What, who's gonna get the seat? Who's gonna get the first seat in grand finals to crown our final Tekken 7 World Tour champion? Atif, back on the stage. Quick but Olsan has the choice here. Is he gonna pick the stage? Is he gonna change characters? I feel like he's gonna stick to Kazumi. It's been working, right? But he's gonna pick a stage and the stage that he feels is best suited for this particular battle. But what's he picked? That's the question. I got to know. Talk to me. It's Dragon's Nest. Yo, this is, this is crazy, Steve. Small, condensed stage. You really got to fight in here. We're getting dangerously close to the phone booth fight. Yo, Arslan Ash getting the crowd behind him. You can hear the chants. Oh, it's Olsan. Okay, sorry. The headphones muffled. Sorry. I feel like they're... I hear both names. I'm... That, I'm telling you, all right, I don't only hear Olsan. Anyways, we're going to go into this. The final game, guys. Let's go. Pushing towards the wall already. Olsan out the gates here. Trying to find his way in, but we're starting to see the 2-2 two -two from Arson. But a big counter hit. He mm. gets the wall. What a combo. Down two. Jeez, almost 60% gone. Yo, yo, there's no... Oh, my gosh. What a block. Did not react in time. Can Arson fight out of this? He's in a particular corner there. Oh, man, Ulsan is going in. Down 4-1 once again. I feel like that's been the, one of the main tools to keep Kunimitsu honest in this matchup. This is quite the battle that we're mm -hmm. seeing here. Arsen obviously came out with the lead early on. Ulsan fought his way back. And then Arsen, again, tying things up here. But look at that. Ulsan with the lead. Okay, okay, okay. My man with the two yo, 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 two the more rounds. The crowd is ready. Okay, nice. Again, good block of the stature kick here. Olson just very content with using that range and using those quick low mix-ups. But both of these guys, masters of spacing. Oof. Ooh, but that's huge. That's yeah, huge. Yeah, set two trade. This is going to be a big combo for Arslan. Double up here. What's he going to do? Wow, nice get-up kick. And mm. the big low. No way he'd do it again. Oh, oh my god, he jabbed exploded. him. Presence of mind here from Arslan. Oh, oh my god, be careful. And the 2-2. Two, two. I love the fact that that has been so many great round closes. Like, I know that you want to move. I know you want to size them. I know you want to backdash to get away. Here's the second hit. I'm telling you, we're seeing a lot of ballerinas. A lot of 2-2s. Two Let's see what he does here. Okay. Caught him in the mix. Nope. Oh, Ooh, the running 2s. Two. Let's go. Okay. Oh, again. Do it again. He's challenging. Using oh, the hard of interruption, guaranteed follow up there with the four. Oh my god, I Turned can't believe around he, and did that. He just did it. Oh, yo, 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 no way. That's gonna hurt. Two. Watch out for the rain drive. Oh, the jab. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did this you see that? Sign, dude. The slight sway back, beating out the stomp. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. This is huge. Old son, if he takes this round, he will be in the winner's side grand final. Arson fighting for his. His positioning. Right. Oh, running two. It's raining. It's pouring. Nice oh. duck. 
Oh All my right, god. Two. Look Running at this. Two on the Look wall. at this positioning. Look at the pressure. Oh, Gets the wall spread. Not dead yet, but the positioning is looking great. Olsan in control. Arslan in trouble. 4-4-2. Four, four, but not out of this yet. No throw break again. on the throw. Not dead. Only a sliver of life. What happens next? Spins the blue. 25 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh. the second in. Here we go. Final, final round. Oh my god. If you guys aren't screaming yet, start screaming now. One of these players is going to move on to Grand Finals winner side. Nice oh block. my god. Look at the defense. Yo, Nothing yo, yo. but pole. The sweep set I, two blocks. I have a feeling they're going to come out. They don't have they're a gonna, choice. They're going to pull out all the strings. Oh. All in the air. Try to get the comp confirmed. Or just to pick the combo up and have something left. But nothing. Light lead in favor of Arslan Ass. Tries to use the back two. Not going to work. 4-2 to chase. Block on it. Oh Watch my god. 4-4. Four, four. Needs to be careful. We were talking about the lows. It's getting close. You see Arslan dashing in. I know what he wants. You know he wants to get that duck. No. Okay, the throw's okay. 20 seconds. Just about left on the clock. Set dashes. The fake out. He's trying Nothing. to catch him. Set dash. Nothing. Set dash. Two. Four, two. Oh, my God. 14 Arslan seconds Ash. left. The time to lows. Oh, no. He's back to the wall. He has to be careful. He has to be oh careful. Oh, my God. He he oh, whips. get off of me. Five, Five seconds, seconds left, left on the clock. The jab. What's going to happen? The whip. Oh, my God. He's been waiting for this, and a huge pop-off. Achev comes out. Oh, my God. I can't believe the sequence is towards Whoa. the very end. I couldn't say a thing, but look at that. Arson standing strong, moving he's on. Close. He's close. Look, he's emotional right he's now. He's right there, bro. He's so he's close. Bro, he's right there. He's right there, bro. He's right there. But Ulsan's still alive. Now has to play in the Losers' Finals. Wow, what a Bruh. set, guys. You got to give it up Y'all going to tell me that's not some good-ass Tekken, bro. <sighs> Look at what Tekken 7 has delivered to us time and time again. We can always go back to the Tekken 7 well, bro. That was one of the tightest, Bruh. most intense sets I've have ever witnessed. You good? I'm good. This you, is are good. you guys good? This is good. Some good-ass Tekken. This is. is what this, is. Is. What this that's is. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. This is what I wake up in the morning for. Let me get two of them. Oh my God. Man. We're not done yet. It we got more matches. Us. It shouldn't affect us like this. I'm out of breath like I've been running. Like, it doesn't even make sense. But that's how good the Tekken is. And that's not even the end. We have the loser's bracket that we have to worry about as well. I want to take a look at it just to see what we got coming down the pipeline. But, of course, Olsan now holds that loser's final spot. If he wants another chance at Arslan Ash, he needs to live through this. But everybody, shift your focus to the loser's semifinals. What do we got, Steve? We got low high. We got C. CBM. Low high versus CBM. Once again, this is still a battle of the players in the same region. You know they are familiar with each other, but they are trying to get back to this spot where Arslan Ash awaits. Low high has been playing amazing, but not that good to stop Arslan Ash from taking that spot away from him and staying alive on the top side. But now Loha still plays like a man possessed. CBM still there with the Noctis, the Noctis now. And then, of course, Olsan with the opportunity to actually go back to that top bracket. And of course, there's a lot of information that we give you guys. But if you need details on where, when, how, make sure you follow TekkenWorldTour.com. Of course, if you're following us on YouTube, at BNE Esports or just BNE Esports on X at Tekken on X as well at BNE Esports for all the updates, all the clips, the highlights, the matches. That's where you go. Yeah, lots of love again. There's so much stuff that's happening. And after this, in just about 12 days, we have a new Tekken game that is coming up Bruh. right now. You guys can pre order the Bandai Namco Store exclusive premium collector's edition. Of course, you see that most electrifying man, the statue of Jin Kazama with the one with the wing, one popped wing out. popping out, bro. With the, the new gi on as well, oh, bro. Yeah. We get the collectible cards, we get the arcade token. Shout outs to the good old arcade mm -hmm, days, mm -hmm. the special steel book, and of course, the Leroy Smith ring, and of course, all the full game and all yes. the bonuses that they talked about today, all the cool upgrades that are going to be happening with the game. You are a fool if you're not pre-ordering the game. But again, get ready for that next battle because that is coming up very soon. And you know what else is coming up soon? More matches. matches. More matches. matches. But we're almost there. We are almost there. Oh, man. You good?
I'm so, I'm, look, when I tell you, like, it, it mentally exhausts me sometimes to talk about these matches. But I will never get tired of it, and that will never happen. You don't have to worry I, about that, I think that, we people. need some time. But I do need to take a quick break. You know, I have, I'm getting a little parched. We're talking a lot. You get to take a break, but make sure you come back and join us. We still have Losers Finals and a few other matches left. You don't want to miss them. I'll see you guys right after this break. I grew up uh, watching the international players playing Tekken 7, but my dream was to compete with them in, like, in the high level. So being able to compete internationally is the best thing ever happened to me. Raif is going to be your Brussels Challenge 2023 champion. At the start of the Tekken 7, all this year is, is memorable for me. Every single moment that I travel, Uh, I can say it was in 2017 in Korea there was a master event of Tekken World Tour. I got fourth place and from that day I got a money prize and I started streaming. And, you know, every, everyone knows. 2018년 이제 네. We have a animal of a champion here. Panda. Really? <laughs>
one of my favorite moments was when I met uh, my close friend. Then we, we travel a lot uh, together by car. Also, we, one time we went to Marcel, like uh, we, I drive for five hours. Then I, I almost fell asleep, so my friends start to drive. And uh, he almost uh, break my car because he, he, he was not driving so much. First attack, winning first attack, Challenger event in Puerto Rico, because this event was the last event for me, big Challenger for me and I won the, this tournament in different country, in different uh, continent. We got, it. we got the champion, the first attack, Tibetano. It's over. And it's over. First time he has ever been to Evolution. Then, 5, 6년 했던 것 같아요. 2017년부터. 그래서 이제 이보라는 대회에서 한번 우승을 해보고 싶은데 계속 이제 2등, 3등으로 떨어졌기 때문에 뭔가 오랫동안 이제 도전했던 거를 이제 달성하게 돼서 너무 좋았던 것 같아요. Wow, like just taking us down memory lane, bro. Taking us down memory lane of what we've seen from Tekken 7 and some of the amazing players you got introduced to. If you need to know how long it's been, just look how different Arslan Ash <laughs> looks now, bro. It looks crazy. But I'm glad you guys came back to join us. We've seen some amazing matches so far. New Orleans just still with me out there. Make some noise. It has been amazing, and to everybody watching, I've been getting a lot of messages from a lot of the homies, a lot of the friends, everybody restreaming out there watching. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys are here, and we got more for you, not only with these Tekken matches, but some cool Tekken figures. Talk to them, Mark. The Game Dimensions line of Tekken figures from the Bandai Namco Toys team. Over 20 points of articulation. If you use the QR code on the screen right now, you guys can get free shipping. On checkout, we have Kazuya, we have Heihachi. Heihachi, unfortunately, no longer with us. But his spirit will live on. Of course, there are more characters coming out, but you guys can get these now. $26.99. I would do it. Yo, I'm already, I got these bangs. I'm just saying, I'm already they can, a they can owner. Hell Sweet, they can Electric, they come with a lot of cool hit effects. And if you're a Tekken fan, you got to get yourselves one of these. I, I need to commend whoever set up the toys today because they that got my me, bro. man Kazuya doing an Electric. That was me. I trust you with my toys. I trust That's Mark with my toys. Yep, yep, yep. But make sure you guys <laughs> use the QR code over here if you would like to get your very own. And you should. And of course, let them know what your favorite characters would like to be, man. Shout outs to Game Dimensions. Now. We get back to the bracket action. Let's take a look at what we've gotten so far. Of course, Arslan Ash, we just saw cash that ticket after taking out Olsan, who is now waiting on the loser's final side of the bracket for whoever comes from this low high CBM match. I'm going to call it out. You know, he's guaranteed a top two spot, but he don't want that. He Nobody don't. wants second place. Mm -hmm. He wants the championship, and it's something that's eluded him since he stepped under the TWT scene. But again, with these players left, only one of these players from the loser's bracket will be able to make it up to Arslan Ash. So we got a big matchup that's going to be coming up. And I can't wait to see it because, you know, this guy in particular, Lohai, has been playing out of his mind this entire weekend. Had a close set early on with Arslan Ash on the winner's side of the top eight. But then he got to losers, but slowly but surely making his way back here. And he's going up against CBM. No stranger to the game. Mm -hmm. And he's using the MP, the magic point, rocking that Noctis <laughs> and like making that. it work. No, man, the Noctis is definitely taking him a long way. I love the fact that we've seen the evolution of his play to the point where he is so crispy with the Noctis that he is now in the running to be the final champion for Tekken 7. But we already know he has that ability, but we've also seen Lohai be in this situation before, too. And I feel like one of the most dedicated, playing with a chip on his shoulder, if you will, and definitely trying to make it back. But guys, only one player makes it to that loser's finals, and I want to know who you think is going to win. If you think Lohai is going to take the set, make some noise out there. Yo, the crowd is popping again. They're back. But if you would like CBM and the Noctis to stay alive and... Okay, for letting us use this beautiful stage. I need to know the dimensions of this samurai armor, bro. That sword... We got to build that in the house. Bro, that sword's got to be bigger than a car, dude. Yo, he's lighting him up already here. Nice wall standing one. Here comes Lohai. Oh, but he drops it. Doesn't matter. Still continuing with that pressure. Has him at the wall. Hatchet. Do it again. Repeat offended. 
Done, nigga. Uh, the, the, I'm speaking of Winx. Winx. Too. Okay, okay. They're about even on life here. Lohai has the rage, though. Gotta watch out here. Oh! oh the blue stump! And he cashes in, able to get it. Good stuff to Lohai, able to clutch out that first round. And we haven't seen any wall breaks yet, but I have a feeling they're coming. Shadow Slash. Trying to shuffle him in. Look at the nice punish there, likely for CBM. Down back three. Oh, oh he got wow. him with the third! Damn, it's just a string. We can see something crazy here. Breaks two of the walls in the process. Okay, nice block. He, whoa, he went for the Fisherman Slam afterwards. Not going to get that punish. The hesitation here for both these players. Again, back to the wall. Got to be very careful. Brian, one of those characters where you don't want to have your back to the wall against them. But CBM has so many good approaching attacks to be able to get out of there. And that's one of them. Mm -hmm. 4 4 1 plus 2. Shadow Scissors. Ooh, hatchet. hatchet again. Hatchet. Once again. Mm, and now that he's got you thinking about the crouching, the ducking. Goes to the Fun. mid, closes out the first round. CBM goes down two rounds in this first game. This is best of three, by the way. Corson here pushing towards him. Nice jab. Strings has him by the wall again. Got to be very careful how you approach here. CBM having some trouble opening up low high. Let's see what he does here. Again, the delay. Trying to catch him here. Now going for the lows. Second Ooh. hit, be careful! Oh, that was dangerous. Almost ate the taunt, and we know Loha was gonna go for something big after that. And probably not a lot of damage, but those pokes alone really do add to the mental stress of this matchup anyway. Right next to each other fighting. 20 seconds left on the clock. And I like it. He's just standing there waiting for a reaction out here, trying to get a bigger opportunity. And look at Lohai, hasn't pressed a button yet. Yo, my man has not hit a button in like five or six seconds at that point. And still just dashing in and out. And the life deficit is on his side. CBM, I believe, does have the life lead. Or maybe they're just so close, I can't tell. There it is. He went for the low. There's only two seconds left. He has a lead. Oh, that's not going to hit. He did not press. Three routes straight in very convincing fashion. Just the the body language of the way he was using Brian up close. Not afraid, just waiting for him. What are you going to do? How are you going to fight me? Because right now it's not working. Lohai is dominating. What are the changes you make here? And, and now, you know, last time Wilson told him something, he ended up not losing or any more rounds. Switch the weather on him. Completely switch the weather on his opponent. But here we go. Olsan giving him some words of wisdom right now. See what he can do. How can he pull this off? Because again, best of three, race to two. Lohai takes this. He goes on to face Ulsan. This is crazy. Man, I am literally in awe right now. We're down to our final four oh, players, shit. and you just saw three of them on the screen. Right? <laughs> As we get back in here, that first game was pretty fast, though. I will it say was, that. It was, it was, you know, three rounds straight. Very solid play. I mean, it kind of slowed down towards the very end here, especially the way that Lowai was really feeling himself, especially defensively in his in his grill, right? But let's see, let's see, CBM. CBM, after a little bit of break and a little bit of coaching, he comes back hard. Let's Round see if he can continue four. that trend. Fight. CBM with the Noctis, game two here. Needs to switch up this momentum. Can he do it? That's the thing here. Shadow Scissors here, early on. Big oh, block, big great. punish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, counter hit this time. Sometimes it's all about the rhythm and the timing. And this is a big combo early on. Has him in rage. He's going to have to be very careful and very wary. Oh, look at the life lead he had right there. And just playing him even cleaner than he was last time. What is Olsan telling this guy? Yo, man, he is telling them to eat their Wheaties because it's working right now. But Lohai fighting back. Using it, you know, using a lot of the moves that maybe some people forget about. That back one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We wall alignment. Okay. Keeps the positioning. Tries to go for the shield bash. Low high aware though. Mm. Has the wall too. Oh, he tried to get out of there. Be careful. Oh, that's damage. going to hurt. Man, and now you can see CBM severely second guessing himself, crouching just a bit. Low high taking advantage of it. Oh, they dancing. Four, four, one plus two. And just using it to cover distance, catch you ducking, or sidestepping a little too, bit too much. Oh, 
Oh, gets the magic four and the jab after. That is not easy. Okay, has a follow up. He tech rolled, but he went for a four but still. Ah, I think that was a mess up, and he yeah. tried to do four back too. Yeah, he definitely wanted the upper there. Again, dangerous grounds to be around. Gotta watch out for that knee. Trying to catch him. Oh, oh he's, he's looking to line him up. Mm, tries to use the blue stuff. Tries to use the rage drive to take the momentum hey, back. Man. Quick down for one from CBM. And once again, hey, man. the Osan coaching has done something to this gameplay. Yeah, whatever he's he's passing out, I want one of those. Right? Oh, Action good block. Blocks. And look at this CBM in cruise control right now. Making things work. Right here, but low eye. Look at the position here. Oh, he's gonna light him up one more time. Perfect. Toe double tap. For what did Olson tell him? What is what is he telling this guy that he literally just turns around and wins the next match? Well, just like that, we're going down to our final game because Steve, this one is an important one because again, from here on out, this is the last short set that we're gonna see, and whoever moves on will face off against Olson. And it's the last time we're going to be seeing one of these players in this tournament. That's the last time, too. But we get to see, like you said, it's been bittersweet being able to say goodbye to a lot of these great players that we've seen over the past few years. And they're all fighting for this final moment here, the final shining moment for Tekken 7. Last match for one of these two players. Oh, boy. The Tekken definitely does match the hype that we're getting here right now. Arslan seated with a grand final spot waiting for the winner. Who comes out of the loser's final? But we got to get there first. We got to get there first. Like you said, we're in the soup stage. It's going to be all decided here. Winner will move on to fight Olsan in the loser's final. Loser will be out at fourth place. Okay, nice. Jab string early on, able to get that. And he's pushing. Look at that. The position he pushes towards the wall. CBM has completely changed up his timing. And look at how effective it's been. Lots of pokes. Well, down forward. Uh. Okay. Keeping him there. Again, that down forward one has been making such a difference in the way he's approaching the matchup, too. Keeping him from stepping up. Oh, my Yo. God. The big head upper to the wall. Don't Fruit everywhere. Oh. He's trying to get him. But look at this. They're about even on life. The evil man doesn't finish the last hit. Spins the blue. Back Try four. To him. I thought that was Shadow Scissors. Back one. Completely walked. CBM now with the lead in the set. Now yeah. this is getting dangerous. Yeah. CBM's getting this momentum. You need to stop him now. Rohai gets a big combo. Counter hit three plus four. Look at the damage. He's been working this comeback. You know, it's been working out for him so well. But right now, Lohai, not done yet. He's fighting back. I, I love oh. Oh, the face that oh. the fourth one finally gets it. We haven't seen it in this entire set yet, but the first one works out. Go for the oh, side. This is gonna oh hurt. my god, this back big. He has an opportunity. Oh, he's got the damn Oh my gosh, he hit him with the Agent Smith on the wall. He cleaned it up. I, he dropped it, but he was able to take it. So we're tied up on rounds. Here we go. Big chance here. Again with the approach here. Back Low high. He's fighting out of that corner. Yo, yo, he's sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Oh, oh. CBM saw it coming. Life lead still in favor of Low High now. Oh. Yo. Yo, you forgot about my magic skills? You guys don't have no MP in this world. Oh. Oh. That is the issue there with that Run low. It, it is punishable. He gets yep. a knockdown. Ryan's one of her newer tools, one of the newer tools that he's had towards later seasons. Mm. Let's see what he does now. What did Let's see if he's got this combo on lock to get the wall. He does. Uh oh, and the follow up here. What's the mix up? What is the mix up? Goes for the grab. Hands off me. Whoa, oh, Perry. Hold on. CBM still alive in this set. He, oh, he could oh, get back turned attacks, bro. Yo, he's done. And just like that, Steve, we are going to, to the final, final, final round. Oh my gosh. Crowd, we got to hear you. One of these players will uh, be done. Somebody's not going to be here once this match ends, I can tell you that. Hi, hi, stop ducking on me, bro. Oh, hi, hi, stop him. ducking on me, bro. There's no way he'd do it again. Oh, man, he's challenging. Life lead in favor of CBM right now. Oh, Shadow this scissors. is huge. He's still alive. I don't know. He's still I alive. I don't know. Oh, oh, he is alive. Oh, oh, oh the win. Low high goes on. CBM goes on. Low high eliminated from the tournament. And what a showing 
for low high getting qualified in the later leg of the TWT season. Guys, make some noise for low high. All the amazing matches he's given us throughout the TWT season. A great player to watch, a great streamer to watch, one of the tech monsters out there. And it was great to call his matches over all these years. But of course, CBM, Cherry Berry Mango goes on to lose his final. The guy who was coaching him during these matches, he's going to have to fight him now if he wants to go back to that upper bracket and fight Arslan Ash. And again, it's a run back from what we saw earlier on oh the winner's God. side of the bracket earlier today. So these guys are going to be playing each other once again. And again, the winner, it, it's not, not no consolation, has to fight face off against Arslan for the world title. For the world title. If you really want to be a champion, you're going to have to beat the best. Arslan Ash is right there in front. He's sitting in the chair like Reina. He's like, yo. Who's going to come and try and stop me now? All right, you know? how did we get here, Steve? How did we get <laughs> Let's here? Let's take go a look, look at the bracket really quick. I was talking about that loser's final that just got set up, but that's going to be Olsan and CBM. And if we go back at Olsan's run through, through this entire time, he had to take out CBM on the winner's side, loses to Arslan Ash, and then has to go down and wait the loser of, excuse me, the winner of Lohai CBM. Now, you see he is waiting on this loser's side. Lohai goes up 2-1 over Rong Chu, and of course, Rong Chu is the person who eliminated me on that last leg. You see Al take out John Ding, who goes on to fight CBM. CBM takes it 2-1, goes on to fight Loha. The amazing match you just saw goes 2-1, and now we're set for our loser's final with the grand final looming in the wings. Arslan waiting, but who is going to be the champion between these three players? It's too hard to say. You know, obviously, Ulsan won early on and when they, they both played. And again, we're looking, it's crazy if you think about it, we're looking at the final three players, the top three on the global ranking. So these are the three best, most consistent players that we've seen throughout the TWT of this past year. And they're battling it out for, of course, the world championship. But again, I don't know how this is going to play out. These guys met each other earlier, yeah. but they've also watched a lot of each other, and I'm sure they know enough to be able to switch it up against each other. I mean, we saw when they played before, where it was like, you know these guys are familiar with each other. We know how fast Olsan plays. His actions per minute off the charts. But I feel like part of the reason both of these players are so strong is because of how well they know each other. They've been training partners, I'm sure. They've ran across each other before their teammates. Hell, you know, they, you know they have some experience with each other. But this is not going to be easy for either one of these players, especially considering we got a longer set. This is three out of five to see who goes on the grand finals. This is losers finals, and one of these players is going to get third place. Yeah, from here on out, they are extended sets. It's going to be a race to three games. Three out of five games, and whoever wins here, again, faces off against Arsenal Nash. Loser is third place. Well... Any, 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 any thoughts? Who do you think is going to take it? Come I, on. Let, let, I, I know it's hard to make a decision, especially with these two guys and how they've been performing throughout the entire day. I'm going to tell you what the match I want to see. Okay, I'm listening. So that will probably sway you in thinking what who I think is going to win. But they're just today in particular, especially after that winner's finals match that we saw, there's something about Olsen I feel like that has not even maxed out yet. I feel like he is poised, if he can get past CBM, to do even greater things in the grand finals. I right, look, I think that right now Olsen is not even at his full power. You're not even I, his final form? I, this is definitely not Olsan's final form. I've seen, like, super Olsan. We've seen, like, yo, you can't stop me, Olsan, before. But on the same note, one of the things I was talking about CBM is that that guy is a tech monster. You can't beat him with something that he's lacking. Like, you literally just have to remove it from the board. We've seen how consistent you he is. You have to pull out his heart. You got to pull out his heart. You got to go straight to the crux of it. But I got a question. New Orleans. If you guys would like Cherry Berry Mango to take the set and go to grand finals, make some noise out there. Okay, okay, I like it. But what about Olson? If you would like Olson to take the set and go to finals, make some noise out there. Oh, right. it's pretty clear. We're smacking it right now. Starting it off here. First to three here, CBM and Olson. And again, so much on the line. Both of these players in the lo loser side of the bracket. So whoever loses is out of the tournament. Back turn launch gets the splat, and he's gonna get the wall here. This is gonna hurt. Uh, and the wall break. The double wall, big damage on top of it. They try to catch, try to give chase here. Right now, CBM looking really, really strong here. Needs to be careful, just dashing away, dashing in his face. 
Osan not hitting the button. Because yep. that's what happens if you do whiff, small punish, jab. Only difference we're seeing here prior to the other matchup we had from them earlier today is out the gates, Osan is picking Kazumi. So right now he has some work cut out for him if he wants to take this opening round. He is shaking his down forward one at him. Seven seconds. Oh, that is not going to do it. If he did not press, gets punished for it. And first round to CBM. You know, looking at how defensive Olsan is playing against CBM really does say a lot. Right? He's really trying to bait something out. He wants the attack. CBM has been doing such a great job of just counter poking, even if it's just the jabs, taking the space with the shadow scissors, or just, you know, kind of sprinkling in that down back three. But it's adding up. And I feel like we get to this point where he's like, all right, now I'm going to start hitting you with the thunder. And that really opens up his game. Shadow scissors. Bro, just 10 minutes ago, Olsan was giving him advice in his ear. Mm -hmm. And now he's fighting off against them. Man, it, it's really suck if he beats you, huh? You're like, oh, I know. Well, I got you here so I can beat you up. So. <laughs> this is what I wanted, all according to plan. Anyways, right now, CBM looking really strong here. Round number two as well. Oh. Good block there on the rage drive. Solid defense there. Oh, but oh. the heel drop. A lot of damage. You got to make it count, though. Adjustment, sidewall. Mm -mm. I said you got to make it count, and now your back's on the wall with 10 seconds left to go. And that's not going to do it down for two. Coming from CBM, and look how well he's playing now. Now CBM controlling this opening game here. Again, still a long set. But Ulsan, ooh, now he's falling into victim of the counter hit. Ooh. And the throw. This deficit here, he has rage, which can help a little bit, but he has to make it count. The extra hits, of course, doing some more damage here. Has the, the added pressure and the rage drive. Well duck. Kazumi in trouble. Side step. Olsan in trouble. Look at the pressure coming from CBM. And he's not playing far back. He's running up on the wrist line. Don't whip anything. And literally, we saw what happened when CBM was close enough. He got the reaction out of Olsan. It was a quick whiff punish. Didn't even think twice about it and reset the neutral right there. And you got to readjust and go back in again. It can't this be overstated. going to be tough. Can't be overstated. That was three straight rounds. And it, it, it wasn't even close, honestly. It wasn't even close. Anytime that Ulsan had an opportunity outside of that launch in the juggle with the sidewall stun, he did not have a solid grasp of controlling each round. However, sometimes you got to step away, take a break, talk to your coach. And even Daniel Mato has had great success in telling Ulsan what, what, something, and then he would bounce back hard. Yeah. I don't know, man. This could be a very interesting in terms of the counterplay that Ulsan is going to employ going to this. Because, again, you have to put it all on the line now. This is the end of the road, almost the end of the road. Mm -hmm. This act of hand talking from Daniel Motto. D don't. Yes, you got this. Let's do it. This close, a little more. You're good. <laughs> Me and Kay was just talking about this. I was like, it's obvious they're not, a lot of times they're not saying a lot because you don't want to go up there and give them a book. But Daniel Motto was over there talking for a little second, man. Man, I, you can speak Italian in my ear right. anytime, bro. <laughs> Talk to me. Anyways, we're going to go into this set. Continuing onwards, Cherry Berry Mango up 1-0 right now versus Ulsan. Ulsan sticking with that Kazumi. So let's see which stage he picked. Where is this battle going to end up? It's oh, in the dojo. The, it's dojo. In the dojo. So, okay, okay. Maybe he was tired of the side wall shenanigans that happened a little bit earlier. Wanted a little bit more square. Let's see if he could pull this off here, because again, that was a three-round straight yeah, that was domination clear. station from Noctis. And it just seems so calm for CBM to get those games. Here we go. Let's see if Noctis can make these these uh, adjustments to further continue his lead. But Ulsan now starts to fight back with an instant mm. wall standing 2-2. Two -two. Here comes CBM. He's going to get the wall. And just by his time, a lot of chances. Oh. Yo, caddy corner. Oh, big damage. Oh, oh and the second hit. Caught you peeking. Ooh, wow. an adjustment. Yo, Let's go, baby. Yo, corner combos again. Yo, you got two of them in the first round. Yo, CBM is on something else right now. Mm, wow, and just a quick low right there. Catches the wow. sidestep. Oh, man. Fight. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Ulsan. Now, four rounds straight for CBM. How is he going to fight back against this? Single jabs here. Really makes it a lot easier to keep a character in front of you. Gets a little quicker recovery, so just in case, you know, you don't get caught by whatever comes next. But keeping that solid throughout these entire sets is not the easiest thing to do. 
And again, right now, first time we'll start, we're seeing a, a nice life lead here. But again, it's just, oh, just a close round. Whoa. But he's gonna get blown him out of there. Doesn't get the follow-up combo. And they're trying. He is trying to whittle away again. He's gonna have to watch out for CBM. CBM has that nice counter approach and gets the wall standing 2-2 again. He's gonna push towards the wall. Time's yeah. wasting in this round too. Big damage. Five seconds just about left on the clock. Rage on the table for Olsan. That full crowd oh. three could have been trouble. But swinging before the end of that string is definitely trouble. Wall splat two rounds in and his game two in CBM continues. CBM hasn't lost a round yet. Olsan has to make a move here. Remember, this is first to three. So there is a chance. There's another game to be played no matter what. The chance is starting to slip. CBM has shown so much success throwing out that wall standing cube, clipping against Ulsan against his timing. But right now, Ulsan opting to go for that dry stance, that back to try to wash him out. Man, he is using it. Shadow Scissors once again, big counter hit. This is not good for Ulsan. Now what? What's the mix? Oh no, he didn't even break. Man, man, he is deep in the meta, deep in the meta, and Olson is just not well, faring well so against this defense, this offense, man, this pressure. He's letting it go. He was playing so hot today, but now he's lost six rounds straight against CBM. How do you come back from this, Steve? I have no idea, man. You're gonna have to go, you gotta go up. You, That's gotta, the only, you gotta go up. Bro, you gotta dig Welcome as deep as you've ever dug Iron before. Tournament seven. CBM doesn't even look like he's breaking a sweat up there. My man is just cruising. But this is definitely a situation that Olson has been in before. He's been in these deficits before. And once again, Daniel Motto giving him some words of encouragement. Or just, man, plain old coaching tips, one or the other. He can't let his emotions get the best yeah. of him. He needs to let it fuel him in some way. We know that he's such an emotionally impactful player. But can he channel it into something that helps him get this big dub? The, the options are kind of limited here because you got to remember, whichever character he locks into, he has to win three straight games with. Yep. Whether that's Kazumi, who has not worked out so far, six straight rounds in terms of the matchups, and the Bob, which he has yet to use in the second set. He has locked in Bob. Yeah, yep, soon as he you said it. You read his mind, Bob. bro. You read his mind, bro. Sometimes you don't want to do that, though. Sometimes you don't want to do that because, again, now it is all on the line. Bob has to win three straight games to move on. Man. The crowd is in approval. There's Bob. Right. He's right there. Olsan asking for more. Oh, the crowd. They're cheering him on. Sometimes that could be enough. Maybe that cheering section, that cheering squad is going to help him push into making this more competitive. Yo, all right, here we go. Let the show if this goes the way of CBM, we could be looking at a last game. Olsan still got a chance, though. The Bob might be his lease on life. Like Mark Man said, he's got to stick to it. He's got to stick to his guns. Yeah. Can he do it, though? I mean, he has to. Three, three games straight. Can he do it with Bob? CBM sitting pretty right now. Caught him. Floated him out of the air there. He's going to get the unskilled on the last hit. And he has the position. At the wall is where you want to be here. Beat down punch. Again, no duck on the second hit. He has to be careful. Try to catch him one more time. Yeah, try to use that back too. You see him use it again right there. Second hit. Oh, oh no one is. Way too slow. Second hit again. Did not get it. And while setting 2 1, he should be dead. Okay, okay. And just Raw like duck. that. Just like that. Raw Making duck. the switch. First time Wilson's able to get around in the set. Simple one, two, little down one. Oh, it didn't even pick him up. CBM maybe still thinking about Kazumi. Whoa, Wable, Wable. Oh, wake back up. one, two. I like it. Good option there. Out of the wave. Hey, man, Ulsan is playing right now. He is not done yet. Ooh. Okay, Wable, Wable. Tried to go for the hill sweep again. CBM says no thank you. Yeah, but he mitigated the damage effect there because of the wall situation. But the shield bash helped it there. Oh, the down forward one able to hit. This time getting the follow-up there. Nice. Oh, but the power crush. What do you do? What's the mix? One, three. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Just like that. Olsan fighting back hard, getting those two rounds. Three. Fight. 
Definitely trying to start that offense Ooh. back again. Misses the combo extension right there, but still, you can see Olsan getting back in the swing of things. Two rounds up right now. Yeah, and that's a big tell, too, because that's a read on the rhythm. He was able to put a stop towards that Shadow Scissors there. Also, the mid follow up. Yo, yo, Olsan, he's played. That's what I like to see into the mix up. Yo, yo, yo. The follow up here. What's the mix? Into another spin. All right. Homing attacks. Dragon's one. Opting to bet on the belly. Can he do it? Looking for an opportunity here. Just about 20 seconds left on the clock now, though. Mm -hmm. Trying to get him with the warp strike. Yo, wave, wave, wave. It's a hell sweep. Wait a minute. Look at the movement. The actions per minute. We talked about it. He is moving, Be waiting careful. for his opportunity here. Time's a wasting. CBM has to do something oh, here. Oh, that side step could have been dangerous. He needs to be careful. Uh, no way. Did he press? Nah. Rage right back. And just to make sure, just to let him know, speed and weight reign supreme. Olsan still alive. Two seconds were left on the clock. Now the patient switches over. I'm so glad he pulled that off because, you know, he was looking like a sitting duck. There were six rounds straight from CBM, but Ulsan fighting back with a very, very strong three round straight. There's Bob. There's your Bob. Look how pumped up he is, bro. Look, look, <laughs> look at Ulsan's Ulsa, like, Ulsa face, bro. Oh my God. Look at Ulsan. I told you he did. I told you when he goes up. Determination. When he goes up, Ulsan becomes a threat, bro. He's like, you, are you trying to take this from me? Are you trying to stop me right now? I don't hey, like, it. like I said, he needs to dig. He's digging deep. We are in the infinite azure. We are in the open stage. Let's see if this is going to make a, a difference here in this particular matchup. Again, two games to one. Ulsan with a very convincing performance. He won three rounds straight. Can CBM kind of cool him off here? We'll see what he does. Down one the chop. Man, the wave dash, bro. What? Yo, beat the movement. All right, stop. Oh, sidestep up forward four, but he missed the follow up with the four four three. Yeah, they not, line it. not able to extend the combo, but it doesn't matter. He does have the life leap, and he still has the confidence. That's the most important thing. The scissors. Oh, thread the needle, put it Cross down. What do you One see, Hey, that's four rounds straight, Steve. That is four rounds straight. Yo, hell sweep again. Yo, the, yo, my gosh, yo, beat the movement. Went for the tracking move just in case it was a sidestep right there. Uh, get off of me, bro. Down two. He was looking for a big launch right there. Trying to catch him uh, instant while setting 2-2 again. I like what I'm seeing here from CBM. Starting to fight back here. Made the right read in the reaction here. Got a good combo out of it as well. But, oh, yo, yo, here comes Ulsan. Here comes Ulsan. What a block. Challenging here with the down two. Has to be careful. They're both towards the end of their life bar. Puts him into rage. Another hell sweep. Goes for the big mid this time. Shadow says he's not going to find his mark. Oh, oh he hit him. boost up, but he's not dead. That's rage is good. gone. Ten seconds left on the clock. Spins okay, what's boot. the mix up? What you going to deal with? Oh, he went Gets for it. For the slide. He's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did, Steve. I, I, I went for the slide. I am, I am beyond words. That is crazy. Uh, oh, uh, my God. Yo. It's it this time. I told you is, when Olsan is in determination mode, how did you stop him? Is this when, young man uh, trying to give him a, a taste of his own medicine? He is on the verge of six-round straight, giving it right back to CBM. Uh-oh. Getting a little cocky. Goes for the power crush. CBM tightens up. Yo, yo. He is playing out of his mind right now. Look at the movement. Bro. The way he's challenging. Mm. Oh, but a big counter from CBM. Shadow scissors. He's gonna, gonna put him into rage. He's gonna put him into rage. Not dead. Oh, the bash. But if he gets hit once, he might be done. Oh, he. Oh no! What happened? I can't believe that missing put. Oh, he got him. He oh, got him. Oh my God! He's like, give it to. Hold I said, on. give it to me. Hold I on. said, give it to me. This dude, Olson, bro. Steve. Fighting like a man, I told you, didn't I? See you like, Steve. hey man, I don't know what he got left in the I, tank. I'm like, bro, Olsan has another mode. I'm not going to lie. I gave up for Steve a moment. Olsan has another mode, I gave up on mode, him for bro. a moment, but six rounds straight in retaliation after CBM had six rounds straight. This brings us to our final game. Look at my man breathing bro, out there. Bro, he's, he's like, yeah. The Terminator. Yeah. Olsan is on another playing level right I now. I told you, dude, he can go up. I told you he can go up. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. This is wild.
Yo, New Orleans, you guys still with me out there? Make some noise if you're enjoying this good-ass Tekken, bro. I can barely talk back here. It's so good. Oh, the crowd. They're, they're letting them know. They're letting these players know who they're cheering Yo, for right now. It's come down to this. Now, Noctis versus Bob. One more game. game. Round one. Fight. Yo, that momentum with Ulsan, though. You have to think about it. Ulsan is on a six-round streak. The chop. The chop that silenced the generation. <laughs> it actually did back in two six days. <laughs> here we go. The follow-up here. What's he going to do? Dude. Oh, the counter throw. Hands off, bro. Finishes the string. Or almost finishes the string. CBM gets hit by one of the string. One of the hits there. And look at the pressure. He has him at the wall. That's just pure movement. He has him there. He has to be careful. Dude, oh, I'm terrified. Double scissors. He's wave dashing on me right now. And I ain't even playing the game. Trying to catch him with the, the Thundaga. Shield bash. Put the brakes on. No more ducking coming from CBM. Oh, he caught him. Wow, it. catches him out of the air back, too. He can get the wall to play properly. Yep, and just Good like damage. that. This is a nasty mix-up. This is a nasty mix-up. Yo, 10 seconds left on the clock. Still no duck. No duck there, either. Five, Five seconds. seconds. The low, life lead oh, in favor of CBM. Gets him, him out him. of the back. He goes for the pressure just in case. Zero seconds on the clock. Olsen takes the lead in the set. Big brain play. He went for the cannonball to make sure he couldn't react in time. Dog, look at the movement coming from Olsen right now. This is unprecedented. I can't believe he's made such a comeback after being down so much. Bro, my man's arcade stick don't catch your fire. Keep moving like that. Yo, the mid option this time. Go for it again. Not close enough. And the big difference we're seeing is Ulsan is pressuring with the movement, pushing CBM to the limits at the wall. And Ulsan, oh my god. CBM has to get out of there. I don't care what you say. He needs to get out of there now. Get out of there. Hail suit to the wall. Yo, yo, he's putting the pressure on against you. do not want to be here. Shadow says there's no counter hit. That's one way CBM's out. That's one way out. Way there's no easy way out. There's no easy way out. Oh, God. Hi, hi. He's still alive. Oh, oh he second, finishes the stream. Second hit. And just like that, he's finally gotten around on the scoreboard. We got one round apiece. Stops the bleeding. Ties the set. Two games apiece. One round apiece. Oh, my God. And these two players, they are beasts. They're going at it. No. Ooh. Finally, a block on the hill sweep. Or any low, for that matter. CB. Yeah. Starting to show shades of having a retaliation. And just like that, he has a good position here by the wall. In the corner here, he puts him into rage. How? Oh, my high. God. A perfect set point right now for CBM to go to grand finals. To go to grand finals. And he goes for the kick. The pressure here. What can he do? He goes for the mid option. And Ulsan again, still playing up close, still Just wanting to finish it, not afraid to do the health loop still. Oh! Up forward one, gets the face stab, big combo here, the wall is there. Yo, he stabbed his big head. Oh, Shadow Scissors, the poke's adding up, adds oh. a poke of his own with oh, the jab. Oh, this is huge, Down this exchange three. could wait, be wait, everything, wait, wait. it could be everything! One, two, two. Oh god, oh god. Okay, moves in. Shadow he has to be careful. Oh, he got him! He got him! And just like that, CBM secures a spot in our grand finals and Ulsan out of the tournament. Oh my god. Bro, these games have been ridiculous. Guys, y'all know what to do. New Orleans. We haven't sat down for a while. We've been standing up back here because this is some amazing good ass tech. Here. Can y'all please? There you go. When I tell you I've been with Olsan for quite some time, I've seen him play around the world from the Philippines oh. to Japan. I've seen this guy play. Oh. We're good. We're good. We've seen him play all over the world and now getting third place at the final in seven world tour global finals. And that means we have our grand finals, our final match for Tekken 7 is about to commence and we will crown a winner, a final Tekken 7 champion. Are they gonna be from Korea or Pakistan? Oh, I Are can't you wait. serious right now? Oh man. Again, I gotta give it up to everybody that's been watching throughout the entire weekend. We are finally here to our final two players and only one will be the champion. Let's go ahead and see how we got here today. And again, I got to give a lot of love to Olsan for his amazing performance throughout the entire weekend. But man, Steve, look at that grand final. Pakistan, Arson Ash versus Korea's CBM. And bro, look at the path 
that CBM took. Winner's semifinals at the beginning of the day goes down 2-0. And then, and then goes on to 2-1 Al. Then goes on to 2-1 Low High. Then goes on to 3-2 Osan to come back up to the winner's bracket and get to this grand final side. The thing is, he's going to need a reset if he actually wants to be the champion. Whereas Arslan Ash only has to win three games. It's going to be tough because, again, he has to go through unsurmountable odds. you got to think about it. Arson Ash is sitting, and we talked about it earlier, it's his tournament to lose. He has wanted this for so long. He has already won two of the biggest tournaments this year. He's going for the Triple Crown. Can he do it? This is the, I feel like this is what he started his journey for, right? Think about it. Like, he came and splashed on the scene, and everybody was like, yo, who's that guy? Like, who, who is that? And it was Arslan Ash, and then bought even stronger players out of the woodwork to do more damage and go all over the world and take points and win these tournaments. And now, as the sole representative from Pakistan in a changing world of Tekken 7 that he is personally affected, now has the opportunity to get the last title on the, on the Infinity Gauntlet, oh, yeah. bro. He's just the last one. And that's the beautiful thing. He's not alone anymore. You know, he has Atif here yeah. giving him some coaching. He has everybody that's watching at home, everyone in the crowd that is supporting him as well. But can he do it? He is so close. But something about CBM, man. Something about CBM. He has been I... playing out of his mind. He has sold his soul to Final Fantasy. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell you right now, man. He's got MP, bro. Not only did we get bars in Tekken 7, but we got magic points, too. <laughs> so it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, I think, uh, a tough fight here for this Grand Finals. But he has to win two sets. That is a tall order, man. Especially about the How way, many people like, have beaten Arson in two sets with Arson being in winners? I Not mean, many. Who has beaten Arslan at a tournament? That's like you, That's think, you count on one hand. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, though, like if you think about how successful he has been ever since he's been introduced to Tekken 7, and you have seen him, think about how many times he has lost. He has seemed like the most unstoppable player, the one that you have to derail the most if you want to be a champion. But, but you know what the and crazy, now he's right there. You know what the crazy part is? Arson has the biggest target on his back. Yeah, he's he had does. it for the past he few does. years. So if anybody has put in the time to study, it is one of the players that were here and qualified for this very day and I, I would not put it against CBM I'm sure he has something up his sleeve yeah well we still got one more set to play possibly two if it goes the way of CBM but make no doubt about it we will be crowning a new and a final Tekken 7 world tour champion today today you know we get all these that. great matches that we've had none of them they weren't even the finals yet they were even we the are finals, finally bro. here uh, you know I feel like we've exerted way more energy than we've had in past <laughs> yes. events but again, this has been action-packed. It's been great to watch. It's been great to feel the energy, especially from this wonderful crowd here in New yes, Orleans. Yes. So and, thank you guys. And I just want to take a note to like say, man, it's been amazing to like see New Orleans. I am from the Midwest. I've been through here before, but the fact is I've never got to see New Orleans up close, eat the amazing food. It has been amazing. New Orleans, thank you so much. And it's been amazing to see Tekken played on American soil at this level. And thank you guys for coming out, showing love to the event. But here we Steve, go. Steve, for the last time, though, let's introduce our last two players. All right, guys, we're about to do it. This is for the grand finals. Our first player coming from the loser's side onto the stage to fight Arslan Ash to see who will be the champion. Make some noise for Cherry Berry Mango! And CBM making it all the way from the loser's side after losing that opening winner's side bracket match. He's battled against so many great players. Some of the gods of the game, even his own teammate, right. to make it to this very spot. He is third in the overall global rankings, and he doesn't even have a specific favorite snack. But if he wins the big money, if he wins that trophy, I'm going to ask him, what are you eating? Hey, like, what are you eating? What are you, what are you, what are you getting for us? It's not where he's going. Like, what are you going to snack on? <laughs> like, that's what we're going to ask him. But also, not to be outdone and definitely not to be outshined. Make some noise for Pakistan's very own who changed the scope of Tekken 7 as we know it and the history going forward. Make some noise for Arslan Ash! And there he is. The shining star of Pakistan, the two-time EVO champion, the two-time EVO Japan champion, mm, mm. and for the first time, a finalist at TWT Man, Finals. Man, y'all better make some noise out there, bro. That boy is, that boy good.
He is that good. That boy good. He has a majority of the points in the global rankings. Started playing in Tekken 6. And again, he is just such a great player, such a great ambassador of the game. And we get to see him test himself here in something that he's wanted for the longest time. And potentially, he could get the triple crown here. Can he do it? Man, I just remember hearing and seeing him at evo japan for the first time he's like yeah man i missed eight flights i actually had to take an eagle here the eagle didn't have any snacks on it so i'm tired the bathroom didn't work on the eagle but i'm still here came and won evo japan i still have a picture in my phone from the top eight there if you go and look at that top eight a lot of those players are in this top eight from the first evo japan just saying it's all come it's full circle history, baby man but the thing is another story that's being told here is for the longest time what region is the strongest in Tekken? We have never had a definitive answer. And now we have a new region to add to that, Pakistan. This is the last stop to show how strong Pakistan is. There's no question about it, but we need the books. I would love for Arsene Ash to be a champion here at the final Tekken World Tour for Tekken 7, but I would also love to see CBM be a champion, come from where he's coming e either from. Either way. And either way is going to be some good-ass Tekken. Either way, we all win. And again, don't let it dissuade you. doesn't matter what the results, what region at the very end of the day. This game, Tekken 7, has brought us together this Tekken world has gotten a lot smaller, but it's also gotten a lot bigger in terms of our family and people who we play with and people who we can be able to enjoy yeah, the man. game with. It's definitely been one of those. It's Yo, this been game has grown. You guys got to remember, Tag 2 Days, Tekken 6 Days. Yes. We only had hundreds of players. Now we have thousands of competitive mm -hmm. players throughout the tour, and this is huge. I can't wait. And you think about it, man, like Tekken 7 has grown the Tekken community so much, and now we're getting a game-ending finale like this. Then we go to Tekken 8, where it begins anew. And all those people, whether you got in late, whether you got in early, whether you've been in from the beginning, you all get to learn this game from the beginning. And for the final time, I need to know, crowd, where your allegiances lie. So I'm going to ask you the tough questions. Question number one, if you would like CBM from Korea to take this tournament and be the TWT champion, make some noise out there. And the crowd, they like it. They like what the? Or would you like Arslan Ash to finally, finally get a TWT championship under his belt? If you'd like him to take it, make some noise out there, New Orleans. Oh, man. Steve, I am going to yell. Oh, here we go, bro. Who is this on the screen? I, this is, it was, it's, I don't think that's an accident. I don't think that's right. an accident at all. Katarina? Katarina. We got CBM with the Noctis coming from the loser side. He has to win two sets in a race to three. And he's going against Arson Ashes Katarina. And that's what makes me seem like, hey, I got games to play, right? Like, if I can get the job done with the Katarina, then I will. And we know Arson is versed in all these other characters as well, so it's no surprise. We've been seeing a lot of blind picks, and this might be one of the times that we use for his offense, but first blood drawn by CBM. I'll tell you for sure, he blinded the shit out of me. I did not expect this. That is as blind a pick as you can get. Ooh. Spear. And still breaks the wall. Yo! Combo City. Yo, the warp strike at the end, too? Yeah, but CBM, not faced. Not faced. He's trying to close this out. He wants to be able to reset here. Oh, tries to go for the punish. Not close enough. Down back three. Harrier low. Gotta watch out for that. It has him at the wall. Be careful for the back swing. Here we go. Arson Ash has the break. This, this does a ton of damage. No, you're, this you're does a ton of damage. Oh, he didn't oh, do oh. it. He didn't do the right time. He's dead. He's low. dead. He's dead. Why did teleport oh in front of me? Oh my gosh, bro. Get this dude. <laughs> Why did that hit? Look at the sliver of life. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> CBM making it work. Man, that was an intense first round. Destruction that was the first everywhere. Round. Grand finals. They broke two of my walls. Geese gets home with the hill. Okay, gets the follow up there. Good combo there from Arslan. Oh, but man, what a challenge. What a challenge. Raw emo, man. It's not, it's not sushi, bro. Here we go. Here we go. One round of peace. Arson Ash finding his groove there. Very, very scary. Whenever he's able to get control of a character like that, big counter hit here. Big counter hit. Gets the wall. Uh 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 uh. uh. The threes. Nice. Good punish here on the throw with. Oh, but oh. big launch, but a side wall. 
Tries to spring up the handshake, that down 4-1 and the conversion. Not going to be able to get to the other wall, but still that momentum looking really strong for Arslan Ash. The low tries to go for a big swing. Arslan doesn't take any of it. Two rounds to one here for Arslan Ash. Yeah, Arslan trying to make his mark here. This big switch, big, big surprise pick with Katarina. Making it work so far, but CBM with the counter poke here with the wall setting too. Gets the big combo, pushing towards the wall break. And he's going to get the second wall, no. Here we go. He has the pressure at the wall, though. Like these. But again, out of nowhere, Katarina hits like a truck. She can Ooh. turn this around. Oh, great interrupt with the down jab. Single one, two. Down four, one, one. Looks for the Harrier. I like that. Quick sidestep. Gets him out of trouble and hits him with the Thundogger. This is huge because this is going to set the tone for the set. This round could grant the first game to either of these amazing players. Okay. Good defense against the Harrier oh. transition. Tries to swing a little too early. Classic Katarina trap. Tries to move. Gets a big counter hit. And now you're on the wall. Oh, but he missed the follow up. That could have been way more damage and way more positioning here for Arslan. But CBM has another chance here. He has to be careful. This is a tricky position. Arslan can start using these lows here because the one setting 2 2 is not going to do yep. the proper punish because of the sidewall. Get off of me. Needs to be careful here. Tab, to go I for like the it. 3 3 3 3 3 3. Type it in. Great whip punish, and that is a move that Arson can really utilize, is his ability to space and kind of create opportunities, and using that pretty big punish will help him out in a big way. So just like that, first game to Arson Ash, he needs two more to be the champion. Welcome to the and just as close Iron as these guys are, seven. and frame, and shot right there, that's how close they are to getting that trophy, that final Tekken World Tour for Tekken 7 trophy. Can he do it here? The stage is set, of course. He's on the winner's side. Bro. And then Osan comes up after taking a loss to him and getting eliminated from the tournament. And he is still helping his homie. Now that right there, that is what it's all about, bro. He's like, yeah, you beat me, and I'm still about to help you. Man, I'm getting, and I'm still about to I'm help you, I'm getting all bro. worked up here watching this. Again, we've seen these players for the past few years grow <laughs> as not only players, but also just as people. Oh, man, this is tough. Man, I remember, sidebar, small story, I remember we were in Japan. With Ulsan? And he was talking about how he, he's like, I'm a man now. I ate two big dinners. I was like, oh, that's true. Yeah, you and ate two bowls like, of ramen. He's like, I ate two. I was like, And I was yeah. like, what's wrong with this kid? <laughs> he was cracking up because he was so proud. He he's said like, he's cool. He was trying to talk to us like, I thought it was real bad, but I thought he was going to talk about it, the goal for the tournament. He said, my goal for today is to eat two bowls of ramen. I was like, what are you talking like, about? What? Talk to me about the tournament. <laughs> But Osan, man, class act right there, giving CBM some words. But we go in. Game two here in the grand finals. And Arslan in control right now. He's looking strong. He is looking positive. And again, he is a champion for a reason. And I'm telling you, man, just throughout the results alone for this entire weekend, we're not even done yet. He has solidified himself as one of the greatest, if not the greatest second seven player of all time. Yo, Anyways, here we go. Man, Open stage. This is the choice. This is the choice that CBM has made. Here we go. Round one. Fight. You know, I don't think Arsene is concerned here. He feels comfortable in the open stage. He's one of those players that often goes to this stage. He, I was about to say, he picks this stage up quite often, actually. Yo, plus, he can get out in it. Yo, he got a Harrier now. What, what, he, what do you need transportation for? We don't need walls. Harrier transition. CBM really doesn't budge and gets a big counter hit right here versus Arsene. Okay. Four, four, four. What's, the, okay. What's the mix up on Wake Up? Yo, got him with the 2 2. Again, nice life lead here for CBM. Can he close it out though? That's the big question. He's, 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 he's aiming for that back too. He wants Ooh, there you go. There what an he goes. interrupt. Round that should do extra damage, bro. You see all that water? Yeah, water and electricity, that's a bad <laughs> that's a bad combination. Okay, let's see what you got. Looking for a duck. Yeah, some good block there. Not able to capitalize though. And Katarina having so many of these sneaky low attacks that he could, she could throw in. Hi, hi. Oh, he's wow. The, the oldest trick in the book. Hi, hi. Yo, stop all of that. Oh, big counter hit once again. No rage, so not a lot of damage. It could be more, but it is a nice chunk of damage. And I feel like a lot of times we've seen some of these combos either be dropped or just for unfamiliarity. Obviously, he's good enough for these characters to play at a high level. But oh, you might miss some of the harder combos, but you ain't going to miss the blue stuff. Her rage drop is so sick. Yeah, that big elbow drop from the top rope. 
I like the hang time on it. Oh wow, no counter hit. Steel's getting space down. That Harriet stance. Man. Okay, okay. Nice wall setting one two. And much like we saw the first two rounds already, CBM having a lead early on, but you know, you can never count on Arsenal. So all it takes is one big counter hit. Because he made it happen last round too. Gotta watch out for that knee. Man, these guys are swinging. Yeah, they're really looking for a leg up right now. Lots of pokes. Okay. Pull. Miss. Side step to the to the right a little bit. Yo, Shadow Scissors once again. Man, he's gotten a lot more like precise with the placement on Shadow Scissors, and it happened after Osan talked to him. That's yep. crazy. And it's not easy to be able to get that kind of counter hit on Arson. Arson is such a defensively sound player, and it was rolled right into it. Talk to him, Steve. Okay, trying to get the stab here. Nice duck, it's it while standing 2-2. Gets the combo here. He's gonna go for the 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Wants to mix up. Last time, Arsa got up instantly. This time he rolls, and this time, getting the coverage there with a shield bash. Single jab right there. Down back three to stop the approach. I really like that. Just in case it was one of his slower lows or maybe a Harrier transition. Trying to catch him again. This time again with the Shadow Scissors. Closing it out, and CBM is on the scoreboard. Oh, I told you. I Yo, don't know what Olsan told him, but he was just like, look, man, I bestow my power into you. Coaching Olsan is, like, we talked about this already. Olsan in the coaching position has been, like, the MVP in terms of coaching. Mm -hmm. He has turned things around many a time for CBM. But what's Arsene going to do? Is he going to stick to Katarina? Is he going to switch? There are some possibilities here in play. I'm curious to see. I mean, I'm not sure if that worked out exactly how he wanted to with the, the spacing because... CBM spacing is really good. He found a lot of counter hits afterwards. So I'm curious which stage he's going to go to. Will you continue to play the lame game? Yeah, I mean, he got his groove back. And that's, the, I think, a big part of it is he was able to find ways to get the forward, forward, one pursuit, which is big, of course. He found the openings. He found the holes. Got the wall setting, too, too. He stopped getting counter hit by that big knee like he did in the early round. But again, Arsene just had a, a tough time opening him up here. But let's see what happens. We're going to go back in. It's tied one game apiece here in our grand finals. He's sticking to Katarina, and we are going to Violet System. So we are opting for a wall stage. This is what Arson wanted. But this is exactly what I was talking about, though. Now you get the character switch up. Well, not the character switch up, but the stage Yo, switch up. And now up. you still have to deal with how oppressive this guy CBM is going to be. Now he's got walls back in the mix. And I'm curious to see just how long the Katarina stays around Fight. if CBM gets another victory. Will you let this go all the way to a reset just to get the intel, just to be able to play this character I versus mean, him? You think about it, if it goes to all the way, this is a pretty long set. There's a lot you have to get used to or uh, get like unused to because you have to be able to change it up. Again, both of these players, these are world-class players, some of the best in the business. Here we go right now. Okay, you got that shadow system against Steve. I've been counting, man. He's been landing them a lot more. Yeah. Holding his ground a lot better, too. Not going back to this range where you can worry about, like, approach from Katarina, whether it be, like, the low or the Harrier stance transition. Saw that a lot in the first game where there was, like, whiffs up close where there would be, like, threes or anything like that. But now, not so much. Oh. Hi, hi, yo, instant. Round two. Thunderbolt. Fight. Okay. Yeah. Keeping the pressure here. Man, CBM is so calm and collected now. Mm -hmm. I feel like Arson is having a much tougher time here trying to open up CBM. Look at the jab. Uh, the confident jab there. That's a big key there. Oh. Yo, chase there. Nice. Great. Interrupts the Harrier option. Once again, trying to force a duck here from CBM. He's not taking the bait, though. Oh, nice. Uh -oh. Ooh. Low starting to add up. Side step, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And down 4-1 to close it out. Okay, momentum. That was pure control yeah. right there. Momentum back on the side of Arsene Ash. CBM, wow. I like what he's doing there. Trying to do those scissors early on here, but Arsene Ash pushing now. Comes to their wall. Ooh, out of the sky. Not yep. going to do too much damage, but the positioning is going to get the wall here. Side wall stun. Candy corner. Yo. Double roll. So aware. Great follow-up right there. Series of successful strikes. Oh, yo, the Harrier. Oh, my God. The side wall right. Full launch. Wall is there, but side block wall. the damage. Oh, again. Second hit. Got to watch out for it. Oh, here comes Arslan. He's going to mix them up. Oh, wow, what a block on the low CBM. Round four. 
takes the lead in the set right now. All right, this is huge. Oh, and a big in. one. Here we go once again. Getting a bit impatient early on. Gets the red knee. The follow-up here. Gets the back three. The follow-up here. Keeps him at the wall. Oh, ah! God. Other way. Stab. Other way. Let's see what he does. I'm not. Oh, he put the brakes up perfectly. Wow, sidestep. 3-3-3 three, three, three. needs to be careful. Look at that punish. That was so great. Yeah. Here we go. Final round here. Pivotal, pivotal round. Whoever takes this is going to pull out into a very, very important lead. Oh, parry. Okay, going to get the wall for this. Position is going to be pretty good, too. Shield bash. Big low. Finding their blows here, trying to figure out what works. Watch out for the shadow scissors. I feel like sidestepping, finding this opportunity. Again, likely for CBM. Oh, wow, got oh, oh, this is huge. This is huge. Down for one once again. Looking for the crowd spins to boost up. That could have been death. Oh, my God. Improperly. The counter poke here from Arslan. Still at the wall. Down for one stops the approach. Answer with one of their own. Yo, he has to be careful. The chip, the, the low. Oh my god, Mark. Oh Blood. my god. Oh, oh he's gonna my god. The Harrier. Go the the Harrier wins low. Did I do that? Damn. One more game and Arsenal. I can't believe he Harrier lowed over I, it. Yeah, that's actually messed up. The Harrier low over. But the, the, the thing that sucks is, you know, the heart attack that we have during the slow motion. I was not prepared, but man, he stole that one away. Oh my gosh, dude. This is wild. CBM though has one more chance to stop Arslan Ash if he hopes to be in the way if he hopes to get more games come on man this is crazy we are being treated to world-class Tekken Some good these guys Tekken. are fighting for their lives Yo, let them know, crowd. Let them know. Let them know, crowd. Y'all can make some noise out there. It's cool. This tournament seven. Oh, man. Again, the power-up comes out. The power-ups come out. Jeez, dude. Olsan, Atif on the stage. Two players that easily could have been in this situation themselves, right? Yeah. Easily could have been up on this stage. It's crazy. You got to think about it, too. Olsan was a finalist for the TWT in 2019. Atif, a previous champion, last year's champion. Offering advice, and again, it's come down to this. Two games to one. First set in favor of Arslan Ash. CBM, whatever choice he makes, we have a feeling he's going to go with Noctis. But he has to win two more games, tie it up, just to reset. Just to reset. Man, I really want to know these notes he's just giving him. It's come down to this again. TWT Finals. We are going to crown the final champion in the legacy of this story game that we love. That's an interesting book to read. I can tell you that right now. Okay, I like this. I like this. He Man. has picked the infinite stage. We're going to the infinite azure. I like this for a number of reasons. When he's cornered by the wall, he has full potential for punishes. There's not going to be a side wall that's going to mess up his combo damage. He can play and punish straight up. However, however, this, I feel like this is where our son is most comfortable in this open stage. He was born here. So let's see how this plays out. What could be the final game of the TWT? Round one. Mm -hmm. Not if CBM. Yeah, not if CBM has anything to say about it. Let's see what he does. It's all on him. Good adjustment. I like it. Gets the flow. He missed the combo! Down for one action there. Try, I don't know what that was. He gets floated out. Yep. Has another opportunity to live with the third hit of the aerial string. Did not work. He does have a huge life lead, but it could have been much more, Steve. Ooh, shadow scissors. Knocks the glasses off. Great poke starting to add up. Yeah, he's good with everything. Look at him. Still working that perfect, and he's going to solidify the perfect. Okay. And close out that opening round. Okay. Remember. CBM the long way. He has to win this match if he wants a chance to be TWT champion. Breaks the throw. Oh, just dashing up. Down back three. Oh, he's gonna harry a low this time. 
looking for something big. Arson keeps trying to move, keeps getting clipped. These Harrier transitions. Nice block. Gets the wild standing four. Oh no. Lots of points adding up. 27 seconds just about left on the clock. Hop kick. Didn't believe. Had the hit. This is huge. Our buddy even on life. Something's got to give. 20 seconds to go. Checking with the mids. Nice down two. Starting to use it. But you got to watch out. Katarina has so many tools that Arsene hasn't even used yet. In this oh particular match, but they trade and Arsene. Here we go. And it just seems like CBM is getting locked down from his movement. Arsene is closing the gap, staying close. Let's make him second guess some of the stuff. And he's like, not using up 4 1 as much anymore, but he's trying to use those lows. Shadow Six is going to probably clip you in a lot of those instances. You really got to be careful. I feel like a lot of these times, sometimes he seals away the move, trying to make his opponent forget about his use of it. And it hasn't really been playing out in his favor. Arsene getting the launches now. This is huge because Arsene is feeling more loose. Uh oh, but Thundaga, that is always a move that makes you second guess what you're going to do. Oh, gets the count. He's the red. Don't test him. Oh. Do the scissors again. Oh. Nice, he had the sidestep, but he wasn't fast enough. Oh, and that's going to do it. Tournament point. Tournament point. One boy. round away from crowning our final TWT champion. You see the Pakistan flag going on back there. Man, are we going to end this on Infinite Azure? CBM, what do you say? Uh, 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 uh. There we go. He went for the Oki, not able to get anything. Arson keeping it to the ground. Light him up. Hi, hi. And again, the big low that has played out so much in the last two rounds. Man, that Harrier is doing work. Hi, hi. Oh, oh big wow. counter. This is going to be a ton of damage. A lot of damage. Spin the raise drive. No. Decides to keep it. Maybe use it for a big up opportunity. And look at that, CBM fighting back. A huge oh. round, an important round. Still tournament point for Arslan. CBM needs this round. Oh wow, quick side step. Looking for the Harrier, goes for the three instead. Lots of pokes and already so much life going on the side of CBM. Arson. Oh, he went right under, but he didn't get a big launch. Could have had the opportunity here. Great block, Arson S on the verge. Can he do it? Will he close it out? One more hit. Oh my god, the pressure! And your final Tekken 7 World Tour Champion will be none other and finally, Arslan Ash! Congratulations to Arslan. Second place goes to CBM, and Arslan Ash has done it. He has won the Triple Crown, and he, of course, pays his respects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's about time, man. It's about time, finally. More, I don't know a more dominant player at this point when it comes to Tekken 7. You can't put it in any book without talking about Arslan Ash in Pakistan and what they've done. Atif Butt on the stage. Of course, an amazing showing by CBM. And there are the tears, man, coming from Arslan. I completely understand, man. Long avoided him. Last year's champion embracing him. Another another champion from the region. Another great representative. He holds up the hand of the Tekken World Tour champion. CBM getting second place, Osan with third. It was an amazing journey just to see and be at some of these events for him to even get here. And to be the final Tekken 7 champion on this global tour is nothing but amazing, man. Shout outs to him. Shout outs to Pakistan, man. This is amazing. He has definitely solidified himself as the greatest of all time for Tekken 7, representing for his wonderful region of Pakistan. And again, lots of love to that community over there. I'm sure they're going crazy back home. They're celebrating back home. But we're not done yet. We got still a crown the champion we still got to do the award ceremony but steve i gotta tell you man you've been my friend for quite some time now i'm so happy to be here with you and not only that we've shared so many great memories yeah. throughout the years with not just you but all of our friends all of the no, people that real, we do commentary with thank you guys for making for these real. moments like i said many times we've had the best seats in the house and we were glad to share our fun times with the game with you guys the wonderful viewers the wonderful community thank you guys so much Yo, Tekken 7 definitely changed my life. Like I said, my first trip to Japan, meeting all these amazing people, man, all these amazing players, perfecting my craft, talking about the games with my friends, man. Everybody knows that. It's been a lot of amazing people that have told the story of Tekken over the years. I just want to say thank you for letting me sit beside you, talk about these games. Thank you for letting me sit beside you, Mark, man, my brother, talk about these games. I want to thank every one of the players because it has been such an honor to see them play at this level for so long and be one of the voices that you guys attached to Tekken.
second, man. It's been such a dream of mine, and I didn't even know it was a dream of mine until I was exposed to this world. So thank you guys so much, man. It's been amazing. Dreams don't die. They keep going. They keep growing because we still have another game just a few weeks away. Yeah. I hope you guys are ready for Tekken 8. And again, I want us all to reunite when that game comes out, and we will see you in the future, of course. Again, I can't wait until we crown our champion. There's a lot to say. I got to give love, of course, to the crowd that's here. The, you guys have kept the energy, yeah. helped us out in such a big way. I got to give, again, to the locals. Thank you guys for showing up. Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for coming out and, like, showing love. I, I talked about this a lot because I would see people outside and them telling me that this is their first Tekken World Tour event. Thanks for them coming. Them telling me that, hey, man, I've never even traveled for an event. Man, I never thought I would be able to see a Tekken World Tour event because it never comes to the States. Well, look at what happened when it does. We had amazing American representation. We had some good-ass Tekken to follow it as well. History was made, and we're closing the chapter of Tekken 7 as we move on to Tekken 8. And, man, I have so many things that I would like to just put out there in the world just to show how much respect I have. But I'm sure you guys get it, and I will forever be grateful. And it's just been so dope to see what Tekken 7 has become. And I'm definitely one of the advocates to tell people that, like, there's not any other instance in which you get a transition from a game like this into another high caliber we're, game we're like this. Strong. We're going straight we're going back strong. in to this action. They've already announced the Tekken World Tour 2024. Of course, Starts in that's going to be Tekken 8, and you guys have the opportunity to join us. If you didn't get in last time, make sure you get in this time, because I'm sure there's going to be plenty more times and more Tekken World Tours for you guys to tune into. Well, Guys, we're going to start with the placements and all the players who did make this amazing top eight. So make sure you bear with me and make some noise when properly available for all our amazing players who came out, did their best, and showed up. But we only got one champion, but we got eight players to talk about. So let's get to it. First and foremost, coming in at seventh place. Wow, got it, sick. They told me I was, that's not me. You're that good. was not me. You're good. But even still, though, we're going to get to it in just a second. I'm going to wait for the update, and then we're going to get these players out on the stage so we can get them proper medals, talk about how they got here, and we can see how these guys got here so far from the bracket, from the top of the day until now. There was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of questions that would have been asked that have now been answered. We wanted to know which player was going to make it out, who was going to be the strongest. It has not been easy to tell. Oh, sick. Right. They're coming out all at once. Thank you. All right, here we go. First and foremost, let's start it off at seventh place. Make some noise for John Dedink. And of course, of course, we do have at seventh place as well, one of the legends, one of the best to ever do it. If you know Tekken, you know him. Knee, also your second seventh place member here for the top eight. Of course, at fifth place, we have Ao representing Japan, Rong Chu representing both Korea and Japan. Of course, at fourth place, we do have the amazing, and what an amazing return to competitive action. We see John Ding out there. Yeah, you know, he John played. Ding. He played out of his mind this weekend. Again, one of the best matchups. He's already doing the dance. He knows what time it is. And at seventh place, knee. There he is, the legend, one of the greatest to ever yes. touch the sticks. Out of Korea, knee, the Brian legend. Love to see him out here. And then, of course, at fifth place with a great represent to get hit him with it. One more. There you go. One for the road, baby. One for the road. Representing Japan and an amazing showing at his final Tekken World Tour for Tekken 7. Make some noise for Al. We've seen this kid grow up playing Tekken. It's been many years since he's come out to the stage and yeah. been able to perform. So it's nice to see him play so well here in this year. Another great player, another friend of mine that I've built during the world of Tekken 7 and traveling. It's good to see him become a father, a Tekken World Tour champion, and a husband. Guys, at fifth place, make some noise for Rom 2. Panda, really? Panda, really? Yeah, you got to give it up because he is an old champion as well for the TWT. and making a spectacular return to competitive Tekken 7 at the highest form. One of my favorite players to watch and one of the young guns coming all the way from Korea. Make some noise for Lohai. Of course, big props to Lohai. Fourth place here 
at TWT Finals, really cementing himself as one of the greatest as well. And as we get down to this final three, let's make sure we let him hear it, guys. Another amazing player that we've seen come up go away from Tekken, come back to Tekken, still be just as strong. My man can eat two bowls of ramen. He's a big man now. Make some noise for third place, Olsan! One of the young guns from Korea, really representing and doing very well here. I don't know what he has on the screen. I can't see it. It's not... Never mind. It says never mind. I'm sure he said he wants more ramen. Right? That's exactly what he says. More but congratulations ramen. for third place to Olsan. And of course, at second place, you saw him with the Noctis. He stayed true the entire time and made it almost to stop Arslan Ash. Make some noise for my favorite flavor, Cherry Berry Mango! CBM, the Noctis Enjoyer, it's the <laughs> Dancer Supreme! Doing it up for the crowd. Obviously, he's all smiles here. Big congrats for him on his runner-up placing here. And to top it all off, making a splash on the competitive fighting game scene as well as Tekken 7 and changing the scope of Tekken as we know it, Pakistan's very own and number one Tekken player in the world and your final Tekken World Tour Tekken 7 champion, make some noise for Arslan Ash! Oh, God. Man, this guy changed so much of the scene, brought up his community, and really, really changed the storyline from what we were used to seeing. So congratulations to him on this hard-fought victory. Well earned, triple crown winner. The triple crown winner, man. You can tell he's super emotional and it makes a lot of sense. Guys, one more time for your entire Tekken 7, Tekken World Tour 2023 top eight. Make some noise for all our finalists, guys. This is an amazing event to be at. And you got Michael Murray on the stage with that sick jacket. Man, I want one. Oh, Michael Murray's giving out the medal, sick. And as you can see right now, I still want one of those jackets. Me and Mark Man was talking about that bad boy. But we're gonna start at the bottom of the list. Definitely not the bottom, though. John Dedeen, you see right there, getting his seventh place medal. On to me, one of the greatest. Such an amazing performance. So glad that he was able to bring out that Brian again that we not used to seeing, but in recent times, he's been bringing him out. And here comes Al. Yeah, Al, another player. Uh, it was so amazing to see him at like Gamers 8 and just be one of the younger representatives coming all the way from Japan and just knowing how far he's come in the scene. It's been ridiculous. Here comes Rangchu. Oh man, Rangchu. Big Daddy Rangchu right. representing. Can't wait to go back to Japan, hang out with Rangchu and the family. Man, this dude Lohai, I was definitely, I tell you, I watch his streams and just seeing how many characters he can play at the level <laughs> that he does is actually ridiculous gets fourth place and then of course the young old sign man he has a bright future ahead of him i yes. can't wait to see what he does in tekken 8. very curious to see what character is going to come out of the woodwork from that guy and then of course the noctis player supreme keeping the character alive the final fantasy player as <laughs> cherry berry mango and then of course last and first place i should say arslan ash getting this medal from michael murray and now we have a very special guest coming to the stage. Yo, New Orleans, make some noise for our fearless leader, Harada! And harada -san grabbing that amazing TWT Finals trophy as he awards it to our champion, Arslan Ash. Man, that's that, a that's big trophy. That's, 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 that's a big a trophy, walk, hold bro. on. Keep it safe. Showing it to the crowd a little bit. That is a sick trophy, especially for a champion. You see it right there on the stage with Michael Murray and Harada, our champion, our Tekken take 7 those World pictures. Tour Make this moment champion. last forever. Yo, Let's go. Take those pictures, yo. Oh, oh, the fanfare from the top of the balloons to send us home. Arslan Ash, man, he really did put a lot into this, man. Don't drop it. Don't you uh, Don't drop lose that. it in the bathroom. Yeah, don't lose You've it done in that the in the bathroom. Don't lose it in the bathroom. <laughs> Bro, you can't leave that in the bathroom. You can't leave that bad boy. You can't in the leave bathroom. that anywhere. <laughs> Tekken Seven man comes to a close. There you go, man. He got the guts ready. Oh, he's been, he's yeah, been building he, that up. He's been in the gym so he can hoist this trophy above his head, bro. I remember when he first showed up. He was looking a little skinny. Hey, while we have him out here, Harada-san, 
Michael Murray, even Nakatsu earlier, everyone from Bandai Namco Entertainment and the Tekken Project team, thank you guys so much for making Tekken 7. So give them a round of applause. Thank you so much, Arata. Thank you guys. Hey, Bandai Namco, thank you guys so much as well. As we take a look at the replays. All right, guys, you know, it's been fun. Tekken 7 has come to a close. We have crowned our champions. It's been fun. Again, lots of love for everybody that helped put together TWT from the very start. Everyone from Rick, everyone from Bandai yes. Namco of America, Europe, Japan, yes. Partners Asia, everywhere. Thank you guys for making this possible. Steve, talk to him. Man, thank you guys so much once again. I've kind of been sprinkling in my thanks and, and thank yous for everybody that's also supported Tekken. I want to say also thanks to Bandai Namco for making an amazing game, giving us this amazing journey and introducing so many people to the world. On top of that, I love the fact that we have such high competition to all the amazing players, to everybody watching at home. Make sure you guys tune in for Tekken 8. It can only go higher. I appreciate everybody out there. Shout out to Produc Production for making this happen. Shout out to New Orleans. Shout out to Tekken. And I'm going to see you guys in Tekken 8. I got one 8. last thing to oh say. Oh, my God. Save the date. See you at Tekken 8. Let's hey, go. Let's go.